Okay, give it a minute. Let's do a testing. <clears throat> give it a couple minutes. Got stuff to show. We're going to color pen pastels in one of these. I don't know which one yet. Let's see. All my notes. And give it a minute. See a couple people lurking, so I guess it's working. Hi, Julie Topaz. Happy Marvelous Monday to you, too. <laughs> Hi, Riri. How you doing? Good to see you. <laughs> Let's see. We got Clint. Who else do we have? Beck. Beck, I got, uh, got your mail. I'm going to show it here in a minute. Hi, Annie Tanner. <laughs> Hope everybody's doing well. Hope you had a good weekend. We're going to color today. But first, I got some art books, some stuff to show, some happy mail. You know, all the usual. All the huge. Let's see. Angie, Tori. Um, let's see. I think I've said hi to everybody so far. Thanks, everybody, for popping in. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Missy. So, yeah, we haven't colored in these for a while in our Kristen Mystic. Um, what's, what does she go by? Um, Christian Glorious Ink. We haven't uh, gone, we haven't done anything in Glorious Ink for a while. So I thought we would color some. I don't know which one I want to do. There's the mermaid, the fairy tale princess, and the beautiful creatures. Hi, Debbie Bruce. Hi, CK. Let's see, Barb, Chicken Pot Pie Society. <laughs> Uh, I don't think I've missed anybody yet, but you know, when things get busy, when things get hopping, I might miss somebody and I don't mean to. So just saying, uh, let's see. Yeah, we, we haven't colored in them a while. I did have, I started a sample page over here. Um, I don't even remember what we did this with. I think this was just, no, this might have been watercolor. It might have, No, it's not pan pastel. This is not coming off. I didn't, unless I sprayed it. But uh, we started this one. This was just, you know, I did it as a sample. But I don't remember when. I didn't, you know. We do a lot of practice and demos here. <laughs> Let's see. Rosalind. It's been a very long time since I caught a stream. Well, good. Good to see you. Hope you're doing well as well. Hi, Pamela Kate. Oh, you're welcome, Pamela. I'm glad I got there safe and sound. I got some ant bites on my feet from going out in the garden when I took Barbie pictures yesterday. So I <laughs> got some ant bites on my toes. Um, not that 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 you care. <laughs> I just my toe was itching. <laughs> Hi, Don. So yeah, I got some uh, I got some pictures to show. Um, in case you don't follow me on Instagram or Facebook, I did post the newest uh, garden Barbie pictures, and uh, so we'll show those. I'll show you here. I'll give you a sneak peek. Here's one. <laughs> so there's everybody in the garden in the rain on the garden gym. <laughs> so you can see the water. There's Janet, always the show off there. <laughs> I don't know if Janet's going to be here or not. She has her, um, she has her family there this week, so we'll we'll see what she does. Then uh, there's me back there sitting in the chair. I got more pictures to show. There's Sista. There's Hubster. So yeah, I just you know took a few, and um, well, I'll go ahead and show them to you. Look, when I when I go to them, watch it'll get show you the water water moving. Let's see, let's go back. See the water moving. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> and that's that'll be a for a cat or day. And then the uh, garden pictures, they're on my phone, so we'll have to look at those later. On the phone. The new garden pictures. Yeah. <clears throat> so let's see. 
So uh, Tori, Don, CK, uh, Terry Brett, Lisa, Welch, anybody else coming in? Thanks for being here. So yeah, we'll uh we'll sh I'll look at these again in a little bit. I'll just set it up there. Um, no, that puts a shadow. Okay, let's move it. <laughs> Everything is a lighting issue when you stream. Hi, Maseki. Hi, Linda Renz. <clears throat> How's everybody doing? Uh, trying to catch everybody. So, yeah, I guess I could be looking through these trying to decide. Hi, Hermit's Tail. Decide which one I want to do. Um, some of these have a little bit of, uh, you know, toplessness. So, I covered that up for the... <laughs> For my stream. And these, you have to put the own, some of these anyway, you got to put your own eyes in, which freaks some people out. These are the creatures. This is the creature book. I really like her, like her hat. And so we, I thought we'd do some pan pastels today. So that's the creature one. Here's the fairy princess one. <clears throat> we'll just flip through. I don't know which one I want to do. Hi, Joe L. Who else am I missing? So, yeah. I like that crown. Just kind of trying to decide which one to do. There's Alice. We could do an Alice. Kind of like her. Let's. I'll put some post-its on here. With some of the ones I like. Well, I like them all, but you know what I mean. All right. Let's see here. I like this one, and I like that other one with the crown too. I'm not sure who she's supposed to be. There's supposed to be different fairy princesses, <laughs> but I like her. I really like her too. But I'm going to look at the other book as well. Let's see. Sharon R. There's the queen. And a little, little mermaid. So there's that one, and then the last one is the mermaid one, which I, I did one of these and sent it to, tore it out and sent it to Zandra. <clears throat> oh, I really like her. I like the fawn. This one is uh let's see, I think yeah, this one is uh double sided, so you can't use markers with these, but I'm gonna use pan pastels, so that's fine either way. But, um, <clears throat> I like her. I like all of them. I like them all for different reasons. But the mermaid ones are cool. I do like her. So what's everybody been working on? What are y'all doing over the weekend? Cat. Kind of like that. Does anybody do anything over the weekend fun? Hi, Laverne. Working on any art projects? I do have a couple of uh, prompts. The three prompts. I do have a couple pictures of three prompts that people posted on IG. I will, um, I'll pull those up here in a minute. Binge watching Picard. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, still trying to decide. Yeah, see, here's where I cut some out when I, I was cutting out the one for Xandra, I think, and I just cut out a whole bunch of them. <clears throat> Thank you. 
I like this one too with the little baby octopus and the shells. I do like that one. Maybe, maybe we'll look at that one too. My guys were trying to resurrect my son's old Buick. Oh, <laughs> I bet that was. Do they like working on cars? I know how uh, handy Scott is, but does he like doing cars? Um, Beck. Annie Tanner's working in her junk journal. Oh, I really like her. I like all the wavy hair. Maybe. We'll put them in the thing. Hi, Janet. I'm just going through my uh, Kristen Glorious ink books and trying to decide which one to do today. I like her. Oh, with the octopus on her head, too. I like that. Maybe that one. I'm liking that one so far out of this book. Because it's a nice big face. It shows up on a camera, you know. So maybe we'll do that one. Let's see. I like it better than this one for today. Let's see. Let me look at this one. I like it better than that one. So, so far it's this one. I'm going to go ahead and cut them out. Let's see. <clears throat> so, what, Janet, you got your company there? Anybody watching with you? So this one out of this book, what did I have here? I have her. Okay, so we're going to go with this. I'm trying to reuse these. Okay, so let's put this one in the front of this. I think we're going to go with that one. Um, and I liked this one. And I liked this one. I think so far I'm going with the mermaid, and the second one would be that one. Although I really like her face, but I like the rabbit. Maybe one of those. And then this one, I didn't, did I not mark any? This is just one of the ones that we played with before. So, let's see what's going on. And makes I they are here. I'm living in the chaos and loving it. Is any is the is she is your uh, um is Jamie's Jay, are y'all anybody watching <laughs> or is it just you and everybody's still asleep? Okay, let's see. Um Yes, I'm going to I'm going to show that. <laughs> I'm going to show the Barbie photos again. Yeah. <laughs> I told everybody you were showing off, Janet. Let's go ahead and I'll show those again then I'll do my happy mail. Um <clears throat> let's see. Okay, so let's start with the first one. All right, so here we go. So here's everybody in the in the rain in the garden gym. <laughs> well, that's what I'm calling it because of the uh, tomato cages and everything. So yeah, there's Janet hanging upside down, showing off like she did back in the day in the in the uh, schoolyard jungle gym. <laughs> Jill's trying to wear the dogs out early. Oh, okay, all right. Well, tell her, tell her we said hi when she comes in or when she comes back in the house. So we got that one. Then we got, here it is. And did y'all see how it's the water? Can you see? Watch when I switch it. You'll see the water real briefly. See the water? So. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <clears throat> And then that's a cat picture. I'll show them again on uh, the phone, but I thought I'd show them close up. And let's see. Let me get my phone here. <clears throat> You'll do it? <laughs> I know you would. I would too. Okay, let me go over to my photos here. So let's just show them. I'll just kind of flip through them here. I don't know. You can't probably see them any better. 
but uh, I put the mushrooms out there and there's the cats. One's in my lap. Can't see it there because Janet's hair is in the way. <laughs> uh, let's see. <laughs> but I had fun doing it. <clears throat> you can see briefly. Let's see. You can see briefly the water. They may not be showing up. That the water moves briefly. <clears throat> so everybody's in the rain. See, there you can see it there. Sister's getting wet. <laughs> Let's show Janet. And there I'm sitting back there with the cats. <laughs> Oh my goodness. So that was fun. And then let's see. Then I went up to uh, Denise's on, uh, well, we didn't, we stopped by our house, but then we went out to eat. We went to Marlowe's. It's an awesome place. There's two of them up there where she lives. Uh, well, two I know of, there may be more, but anyway, so uh, we have, uh, have the best fried asparagus and uh, chicken panini and just all kinds of good stuff. So we went, uh, we went up there, and I got a couple pictures. Denise, of course, takes the pictures. So there's one uh, Denise took of me. I don't know what they, it looks like something's wrong with my hand. It's just the lighting has put it all weird. But <laughs> anyway, so Denise took this one of me. And then here's one of, of me and Denise. She's good at doing selfies. And then here's, um, here's one of, us with the bunny ear, you know, she loves to do that stuff. And then uh, <clears throat> this one of of her and Hubster <laughs> with the glasses. And let's see, that's the same one again of us. And then we had to drive Atlanta, of course, is, is a Cray in the traffic. But look how pretty the sky was. Look how pretty the day was. So, yeah, I had to take a picture of that. And you can see the skylight of Atlanta there, part of it. I mean, you know, but it was such a pretty sky. I had to get that picture. Um, <laughs> yeah, I got pictures on Instagram, Joe. <clears throat> There's pictures of me on IG. Um, let's see. Hi, Rachel. got to do that little ASMR morning lemon water. <laughs> yeah, they have good, they, I just, I haven't had either one of those, Shelly, but I like the panini and the asparagus, the fried asparagus. It's really good. So let's see, who am I? There's, there's our Pecola, my little snapdragon. Yeah. <clears throat> Let's see who else is here. I think I've said hi to everybody as, they've, as, they've, as everybody has come in. So, yeah. So we had good time. Um, we had a good time. And uh, now let me, oh, and let me show the, the actual garden. So this is the actual garden. This is week three. <clears throat> Here's week three. There's my romaine lettuce. I got broccoli over there. Almost all this in the center are peppers different kind of peppers although this big this plant over you can't hardly see it it looks like it's fading out it's thicker than it looks there but that's a jalapeno bush over there and then i have this is uh two tomato plants and then there's three cherry tomato plants there and then the rest is like four different kind of peppers in there i got some garlic left over back here from last fall that i planted and then I got, I did plant some squash seeds right here just to see what happens. But <clears throat> are you growing rocket leaves? I don't, I don't know what that is, Joe. What are rocket leaves? I don't know what that is. Yes, get the fried asparagus, Shelly. It's so good. Uh, let's see, Flo. Hi, Flo. I love saying that. Hi, Flo. <laughs> just like saying hi Flo. So we had a busy weekend. It was, it was quite busy. And uh, so yeah, those are all the pictures I have. Hi Arlene. 
Now let me go over to IG it for um to see. Oh well, let me go over here because Rachel messages me her. Uh, let me go over here. Rachel messages me uh, her pictures of the three prompts. So let's see what she did. Okay, so here's one. So the, her prompts were apron, top hat, and uh, paintbrush. Not, I, I don't know. And she said huge paintbrush. But she did this one to represent, she calls it my Tori. Tori, are you here? Here's uh, here's Rachel's little picture that she has. That's you, Tori. <laughs> there's, uh, there's Rachel's uh, picture of you. She may have sent it to you too, Tori. I don't know. She needs to if she hasn't. But there's uh, uh, Tori the Artful Dabbler. She's here. Well, no, she's back a ways. But uh, anyway, there's uh, there's her little sketch of you, Tori. <laughs> I love it, Rachel. <laughs> I hope you sent it to Tori. Let's see what else. Then uh, I think she had one more, but I may have shown it. Let me scroll back. Mm, I don't know if I showed this this one or not. Cat, bear, and her choice, which I can't read what it is. But she did um, Oliver Malibu. Arlene and Janet are coming through. I, I don't know. She'd have to explain some of it. There's a, But there's a bear and Oliver and Malibu. And it's cut off down there. So I don't know what her choice was. Maybe it was, a Mal, I don't know, Malibu and Oliver. But there's, and she, these are real little guys. This is a little tiny sketchbook that she has. And she does them small. And she tries to do them within five minutes. <laughs> there you there's Tori. I know, right? Isn't it cute? <laughs> Let's see, hi Terry Brett. I said hi to Sharon R. Joy. Um Net Nettie. So yeah, so those were Rachel's. Um, let's see. Let me go back over to IG and see where I've been tagged. Joe. Joe did this one: Vines, Jewels, and Pig. So Joe Leg 66, so she does her three prompts. She did uh, vines, jewels, and a pig. Isn't that good? This looks like a watercolor. That's awesome, Joe. Really like it. Let's see. There's Debbie. I said hi to Debbie Bruce, I think. Who else am I missing? Let's see. Let me scroll down. Kathleen. There's Joe L right there. There's Joe. So there's her her uh, prompts. Let's see, Mona uh, said hi to Maseki. Julie Topaz, Deb E. Scrolling, scrolling. I think I got everybody. Uh, Janet says I have these three prompt drawings. You guys are oh oh, I love them. She said I love the three prompt drawings. Yeah, I know, right, Janet? Hi, sister. <laughs> Hi, y'all. <laughs> and Beth, let's see. Do I have yours here? Uh, let's see. I don't see a tag. I don't see a tag, but let me go look you up. Let's see. Yeah, if you all don't tag me, I'm probably not going to see them. But I, for some reason, I think I saw Beck. So let me go see. Beck. <clears throat> Let's see. Where are they? I don't see them. I don't see them on IG. Here's one. This was from April 6th, but I don't know if this is the one. The Hibiscus Popsicle and Pearls. Is this the one you mean back? I think I showed this one. She did a little bunny. Hibiscus Pops, Popsicle and Pearls. Uh, let's see. That's the only one I see on your IG. Beck did get Beck did get her um, stamp swap, and oh, I missed this catter day. That's a good one right there. <laughs> Let's see. I don't know if Beck said anything else about the three prompts. I think that's it. I think that's all I have. Unless anybody else can tell me that they um, 
they what do you call it um tag me or anything let me go back over here um i'm looking i'm scrolling back for the past few days mm -hmm. I don't see any more, so if anybody else did three prompts, let me know and I'll show them. Uh, let's see, Jane. So, um, yeah, but Aunt Beck has been making these. Um, she's been making these crochet bowls. She sent me one. That was so nice of you, Beck. <laughs> she sent me one of the crocheted bowls she's been making with a nice card and a little bag of something. So, but I'll show you that in a minute. But look, and, the, and these these uh, roll down. They roll over like this. It gives it a little bit of sturdiness. So isn't that nice? Look at that. Very nice, Beck. Look at that nice work. So she's, uh, I think she's going to start selling these. Aren't you going to start selling these, Beck? <clears throat> Let me know here. I think she's going to, hi, Kelly Ann. Uh... I know, right? I think she's going to start selling them. We'll see if she answers. And then she made, and I put it, I dressed one of the Barbies. She made this, guys, look. She made a sweater and a skirt. She, <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't even know how this kind of stuff gets made. Hi, Kathy Berg. You're thinking about it? Well, you should. You should sell them. But look at this Barbie outfit. <laughs> Can y'all believe this? She made this this uh, sweater and skirt. Look at that. Look at the little hem. It's like I don't know. I don't know. Is that called? I don't. I don't know what they're called. But it looks like what I've heard is called a shell stitch. But I don't know. But look how pretty that is. Look at that skirt and that that sweater. Look at that detail. Now you can sell these, Aunt Beck. I know that because there's a lot of Barbie, um, a lot of Barbie girls out there. Well, there's girls and guys that do Barbie uh, photography, and uh, so yeah, that's very, very nice. Isn't it a lovely outfit? It's crocheted. Yeah, didn't I say that? Did I say it was crocheted? <clears throat> or did I say knit? I didn't. I didn't. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say it was knit. It's crochet. I don't think, I don't know that Beck knits. I think she just crochets. But isn't that beautiful, guys? Look at that work. And she has a snap on it. She didn't need a lot of, a lot of, uh, uh, well, if you buy them in the store, they have Velcro, but she has a little snap on hers. She has a little snap. <laughs> so anyway, I had to dress one of them to show you. Isn't that awesome? So yeah. And then the bowls. And so y'all, uh, I'll try to get her to, to sell some. This is just a piece of uh, the card and the thing in there. <clears throat> so, yeah, look how, look how good that looks. Isn't that good? So, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Aunt Beck. I'm going to leave this on her for a while because it's just so cool. So, thank you so much for sending me that. And, again, y'all try to persuade her, persuade her to make those bowls if you like them. Um, let's see. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah, the Velcro, especially on the little clothes. Well, I can understand how it's easier, you know, it's easier for little kids, especially to dress them, you know, and stuff like that when you buy them in the store. But yeah, it's much nicer to have a snap for a me. I mean, as a, you know, the, you know, when you have the dolls dressed up nice, you like to have the nice snaps. Let's see. You love the bowls, Joe? I know, right? So everybody's liking your bowls. Let's see. What else is going on? Sounds like you have my husband. See. Oh, she's talking to Janet. Okay, so uh, don't forget, if you're talking to me, put it in caps. Put it in caps so I will see that you are talking to me. I won't think you're yelling at me because especially when chat starts zipping, zipping through, I will, um, I will miss things. So I'm more apt to see it. If you put it in caps, I do go back and scrub through the chat later to see if I've missed people or missed new people or anything. So hi, Leah. 
And um, so, yeah. So just put it in caps if you're talking to me. If you're talking to somebody else, then don't put it in caps because then I'll think you're talking to me and then I'll scroll back and go, what are y'all, what are you trying to ask me? I see and pee and cat and paste. Oh no, did you do a color book page over the weekend? I'm not sure that I saw one. Let's go look. Because <laughs> I usually get you in my feed. Um, oh, and Arlene did a new cross. I'm going to, let's look at that. Arlene did did a new, um, she does um, dimensional art. So she did this one. I wish she'd do side views and stuff, but, you know, I understand. So that's lovely. That's lovely, Arlene. Anybody else want to tell me about the, what they did over the weekend? I will show it. Let me look for cat and pace. Let's see. Well, this is her newest one, and it was a, a few days ago, but I don't know that I showed this. This may have come in after the last stream. Isn't that just so pretty? Fluffy heart. It's a Mario Labudek, which, uh, and this is Prismacolor Premier, um, Tombow Dual Brush Pen, and Posca Pen. Trying to justify my artist grade supplies. <laughs> Isn't that stunning, guys? Cat face does beautiful coloring. Look at that. I love it. So that's just awesome. <laughs> I know, right, guys? It is, right? It's just commenting. Hi, Janice J.L. Johnson. Is today Arlene's birthday? Okay, Janet, Janice is telling Arlene happy birthday. Is today your birthday, Arlene? Or is it like recent? I don't. Well, you. I don't. I don't think you're on Facebook, and that's the only place I see people's birthdays. And that's just if that's if somebody else has said something because I. I'm just not on Facebook that much. But that's really the only place where I see any birthdays unless somebody says something. So, um, is today your birthday? Yes, today. Okay. So everybody, uh, wish Arlene a happy birthday. I'm not going to sing. You don't want to hear me sing. <laughs> <laughs> or I could do what, um, let me see. I could do what um, Kathy Berg does. Let's see. Siri? Siri? Siri's not coming up. Maybe I have Siri turned off. <laughs> I was going to say I'll sit, tell Siri to sing happy birthday. <laughs> but I think I have it turned off. So I have to, I have to actually turn Siri on to get information. Um, let's see. Uh, so everybody's telling Arlene happy birthday. Hello, Jessica Sparkles and Megs. I said hi to her. So I'm Linda Pixie Cora. So anybody else I miss? Good morning. All right. So if anybody else wants me to show their um, IG art, let me know. <clears throat> I said hi to Terry Brett. Okay, so a couple things. I did get a the new Daphne's Diary. I think it's the newest one. I think this is the newest one, although it's Easter. I don't know. Is this the newest one? Does anybody know? It's number two. I'm thinking this may not be the newest one, but I got this Daphne's Diary. And y'all know I'm going to cut these up and make little mini journals. I'll take out the cardstock things that you make. I'll take these out, and then I cut them up so that we can make the little mini journals. But I don't know that I've shown this one. Well, I mean, that um, I don't know that this is the newest one. But it was the newest one at my bookstore. So, yeah. And there's some stationery. So if anybody has one newer than this, let me know. I don't see Colleen. Colleen would know. Kathy Bird might know. Do you subscribe to this, uh, Kathy? Kathy Bird, do you subscribe to this? Um, here's some fruit and vegetable stamping which I thought was really good. This is this is pretty cool to see the stamping with fruits and vegetables. We used to do this way, 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 way back. <laughs> how did the hand dress, how did the hands dress today? Oh, they're still dressed in, <laughs> they're still dressed in the stripes. I haven't changed, I haven't changed the clothes. Yeah, I haven't changed this. <laughs> Let's put them the right way. I haven't changed the clothes on the... On the <laughs> I love these hands. <laughs> Let's see. 
<laughs> that's a piece that's cardboard that's card stock it's gonna <laughs> i love these hands <laughs> <laughs> I don't see a, a, a Lisa here right now, but <laughs> I, I love them. <laughs> uh, I <laughs> they do. They're fun, aren't they? Oh, there she is. There she is. There's the there's the uh, Alisa. I really want to tell everyone in Italy that I can't. Yeah, it's hard to catch everybody. It's especially when you come in in the middle of a, or, you know, not the very, very beginning. It's hard to catch everybody, Elisa. Don't worry about it. <laughs> but I know I love them. I love those hands. <laughs> I did post, uh, I did, I, I posted, I did post the one with the cat petting, you know, with the pet in Malibu. So I will take out the cardstock ones. And then I cut these down after I've done with them, reading them or, you know, any other little thing I want to cut out. Um, and then I will um, like some, there's cards here. There's always a poster. And I always give these to Samantha for her uh, school, her, um, what do you call it? Her uh, pin board, her, her, you know, where she puts all her notes on. So I haven't looked at this yet. Let's just see here. It's a big Easter poster. So, yeah, her uh, cork board, her cork, she puts these up on her cork board and then she can put her notes and stuff over the top. But isn't that pretty? So that'll go to Samantha. And then I'll, I'll take out anything I want to cut out. Like I'd like to keep this little information here, the colors with the different um, like blackberries, things that you can dye with and, uh, you know, uh, food dye. <clears throat> so anyway... There's some eggs back here that you can put together. There's a few sheets of those. So anyway, um, Daphne's Diary has got a lot of fun idea creativity in it. So let's move that to the side. And um, let's see. I got another book. Oh, I actually have three books, but I don't know if I'm going to... Do, do y'all want to see three art books? I did get three new art books. Um, one I got last week after the stream. Um, I... I uh, ordered the uh, Milton Glaser pop book. This just came out brand new. If y'all know Milton Glaser, the well-known illustrator and uh, from the, what do you call it? Um, push pin in New York, push pin studios and uh, very well-known pop. Well, he was, he did a lot of different illustrations, but this is the pop, the time that he did pop art uh, art and um so let's see does it let's say what the what years he did this i mean what years this is covering let's see if i can find the years this covers <clears throat> i think they're the 60 let's see well it does show some of his early work and stuff but i think it's it's really like from the late 60s the pop art time you know, through the 70s and maybe into the 80s. So um, thank you, Flo. Thank you, Devin. Let's see. Let's go ahead and brighten this up just a little. Got a, I don't want it to get fuzzy, but that happened. There we go. That looks pretty good. Uh, white, you know, white paper and camera lights, you know, camera adjusting. <clears throat> so I'm not going to obviously show the whole book, but, uh, and this was not a cheap book, but, um, I was, I think I was at Christopher's when I found the, the bot, the book popped up in my, uh, I was looking something up on my Amazon and this was in the feed and I told Rachel, I said, Oh, I don't know. I might want to get that book. And she's, Oh, go for it. So <laughs> I can blame Rachel. Let me go ahead and zoom in some here. Let's go ahead and zoom in. Mom. There we go. So, yeah. <laughs> Hi, Annette. Let's see who else is here. So, yeah. So, um, it's it's the time, the pop time. You know, the late 60s. What should you use for Smack and Dragon? What paint? I don't use paint. Hermit's tail. I use ink. I use ink. I mean, paint is, if you water it down enough, you can Smack and Drag, but I use ink. Yeah, I use drops of ink and then spritz it with water and then smack and drag. So, yeah. 
<clears throat> so I'll show a little bit here. Early work. So let's kind of flip here. Just kind of flip through. Where he's done book covers. I mean, it's just packed full of his work, which I, I just love it all. There's where he did the Bob Dylan uh, record album there. So it's kind of, if you know Peter Max, the same time period <coughs> where they did all the pop art, bright color, psychedelic type art. <clears throat> yeah, <laughs> Rachel. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it does go a little fuzzy with the white. Uh, I try to make it adjust, but there we go. It likes to go fuzzy. It's a huge book. It's a coffee table size book. Well, not quite over. It's not really an oversized coffee table book, but it's a big, it's, it's huge. <clears throat> so I'm just going to kind of flip through but it's got little notes and he did a lot of the silhouette type art <clears throat> this, this was some more of the silhouette stuff there He's probably best known the I Heart New York logo. He's the one that designed that. Well, he and his studio did with the heart, you know, the I Heart New York uh, symbol or sign. He's the one that did that. I'll give you all the ISB in here in a minute. It's just a, it's a stunning book. And this is the, it came wrapped in plastic. And then this was the back sheet that was um, inside the plastic. So the ISBN is, y'all ready? 978-1580-936132. That's the ISBN there. And it's a big, big honking book. So Milton Glaser Pop just came out. Uh, will the day come where we rip? No, we won't be ripping this up. <laughs> no, there's certain books that I have as collections. Uh, now, if I found this, you know, in a couple of years, let's say in two, three, four years, I found this at uh, Thrift Books or uh, Books a Million for $3 then maybe, <laughs> but no, I'm not going to, not going to do that, nor will I do it with these other two that I got. These two I got at Barnes and Noble over the weekend. I did post pictures on Instagram. Um, I posted pictures of, on Instagram of these next two books that I got at Barnes and Noble when I went up to see Denise this last weekend. Hi, Fernando. Who else am I missing? Uh, so I got, uh, and I'm not going to pronounce her name right. I know that yet. Yayo, Yayo Kusama. And she's, I know you'll recognize her from this. Y'all recognize her here. Now that she's, she's in her, I think she's in her nineties now. And, um, but she does dots. If you'll, you'll rec, you'll probably know her. If you see her from New York, you know, MoMA or whatever, it's going to be um, her dot paintings that are probably the most well-known, but it covers 1945. I think she was born in 1920 something, but um, this covers her life from 45, 1945 until now. And it, this is a huge Mama Jamba book, too. This one was not cheap either. <laughs> I forgot how much it was. I said, do you care if I, I told Hubster, do you care if I buy that? And he goes, oh, go ahead. I think, it's a, I think it was the same price as, uh, although I didn't get this at Amazon. I saved a little bit. I saved a little bit on the pop by getting this one at Amazon. I saved a couple dollars. This one, I saved my 10% or whatever for being in, uh, you know, uh, Barnes and Noble's uh, 
you know, reward program or whatever you call it. Hi, Christopher. I'm just showing some art books. I already showed um, the Milton Glaser pop that I was talking about on your show last week. I did get it in. I did. I talked. I just did a flip of this one, and now I'm doing a flip of this one that I got at Barnes and Noble over the weekend. And I gotta say, I wrote this down. I just saw Christopher. And I wrote this down. Let me go over here on my notes. This is gonna go in my um, wingnut book. So Christopher, last week on my show, we had two people in that were new. Uh, my sister Jody in Texas. Her best friend's name is Happy. I mean, that's not her literal name, but she goes by Happy. And then we also, and apparently he said something in chat and I didn't see it till I scrubbed back through the chat. And then we had another new person in called You Know It. You Know It. So apparently Christopher in chat said, if you're happy and you know it. <laughs> so if you're happy and you know it goes in the wingnut book. So that was a good one, Christopher. Hi, Jeff Potts. <laughs> so, yeah, that's going to make it in the wing netbook. So, anyway, um, she's Japanese. She, she, you know, she lived through the war and all that. And uh, I'm not going to, you know, I'll just kind of do a flip through. But, you know, you'll probably recognize her by, this is her early work here, by her later works uh, with the dots. Or here, like this is real popular here. I've seen that, you know, a lot of places. And uh, <clears throat> there she is when she was younger. This was 1978. I think she's probably, she's in her 40s there. Um, because I think she, yeah, she was born in the 20s. So, <clears throat> and uh, so, yeah, go, I think, I also think there's a YouTube, uh, I believe there's a YouTube documentary on her. So you could go look or watch the documentary on her. Um, so just kind of do a little flip through here. Some photos of her life. <clears throat> and she does a lot. Of, here's one of her like sculptures. And she's all about the polka dots. Um, you know it there. They... They're from Pete Stream. Oh, I, I think they said that, Tina. And hi, Tina, by the way. I think they did mention that, Tina, when they came in, that they came over here from Pete Stream and that you invited them. Yeah. And good morning, Tina. But I just thought that was so funny. If you're happy and you know it. How would how two new people coming in? Happy and you know it. <laughs> just, that made the wing that book. So here she is working. And so I think she sometimes she'll she'll work like I don't know that she still does because she's in her 90s now. But she would work like five days in a row without stopping, <laughs> you know, something like crazy like that. I don't remember. But anyway, um, yeah. So letters all in the back here. So you can really get to know her from this book. So, and the ISBN on this one, I have not looked this one up to see if it's on Amazon. Probably is because you can get anything on Amazon via a third party, you know. Uh, the ISBN on this is 9780500025857. And uh, so, but I got this at Barnes and Noble. And then the last one I got at Barnes and Noble, and I know I know Janet's going to want this one if she had. I, I have never seen this book, and came out in 2018. And where I found it in Barnes and Noble, there's a journaling, you know, where the journals are. There's a big journaling section where you buy the leather journals and the mollies and you know all the journals. Well, on a side cap, on an end cap, was this book. And I've never seen it before, but it came out in 2018. I'm already I'm already read read into it here, but uh, let's see what page that is. Okay, so I can take off the cover there. So this is the Writer's Map, an atlas of imaginary lands, and it's all about writers that have maps 
in their stories. I mean, Tolkien, for instance, that's the easiest one to use as an example that have maps in their stories. And I mean, they go, he goes back all the way to Gulliver's Travels, and but I'll flip through it in a minute. Let me go ahead and, while I'm thinking of it, let me give you the ISBN in this one. Uh, 978-0-226-596631. And I don't have the price on this one. And again, I'm sure it's probably I, on Amazon cheaper than I think. It, I think it was close to $50. The, this one, this one was like 65. And I think uh, even on Amazon, I think I paid 60 for this one. So they're not cheap books, but if you like to collect art books that are collectors, you're not those, they're not to cut up. <laughs> Hi, Miss Lena. Uh, who else? Uh, yes. He will book shower. <laughs> <laughs> this one if you like maps you'll want this book i'm just saying let's see let's try to i don't i'm just trying to grab the light because it changes with the with the light the wide. it's got this here to kind of lock it in but there we go that looks pretty good <laughs> so anyway the writer's map and again it's all about authors who have used maps the writer's map an atlas of imaginary lands and it is a stunning book. I'm just telling you, I am reading it. It's just awesome. It's an awesome, awesome book. And I just got it. You know, I just got it on a uh, Saturday. <clears throat> so I won't show the whole thing, of course, but you know, uh, let me see. Do I have a little table of contacts here? So the, po the plausible possible, the little things, the part one is make believe the little things, fabled lands, part two, writing maps, first step off the grid, all the different, you know, things about writing maps, creating maps and reading maps. And then they have different authors talking about how they've used maps in their work. Um, thank you, Christopher. I think so, too. Oh, no, I might be enabled with this one. I know you love me. I hear you. I love maps, too. I got a lot of map books. And, um, you know, so anyway, I just, uh, yeah, <laughs> I'll show a little bit of it again. Let's try to grab the light. Okay. So, um, I'll just do a flip here, but it's just packed full. If you like maps, you will love this book and the different writers talking about how they use maps in their storytelling and, uh, <clears throat> Robinson Crusoe. It's going to do a flip here. But look how much is in it. It's every page. I think there's 200 and something illustrations, I think it said. Treasure Island. Look at it. It's just, oh, just stunning, right? And it has all the little uh, creatures that, you know, they used to think would attack your ships. <laughs> Maybe some of them did. Different ways they people perceive the world as, um, here's Map of the Nine Worlds, the different way people, you know, perceive the world. And so, yeah, just every kind of map about the world you can think of. Well, not everyone, but <clears throat> in stories. Creating maps. There was one here in Canada that I saw that I thought of all you Canadians. Oh, uh, let's see. I don't remember where it is, though. That's, you know, trying to refind it might be an issue. But I think it came out in the this is the map that I saw on Canada. It was in the 30s um, because I had to, I had to, uh, I had to figure out, well, not that hard, but I had to read the, uh, um, translate the numbers. Let's see. Hmm. I don't know. I can't remember where it was. I don't know that I can find it. <clears throat> It was, a, it was a great map. I think it was a double page like this. 
but it had the Roman numerals, and I think it was 1936. So it wouldn't be that as far back as the front, the front, because I think it does a little bit of chronology. Let's see. There's Narnia. Here it is. A Literary Map of Canada as compiled by William Arthur Deacon. And it's MCMXXXVI. And I think that's 1936. Well, I thought that was very cool. Look, look at the detail. Just look at the, well, it's not gonna wanna focus. But look at the detail in that. Anyway. <clears throat> I just saw that, Chris. There are maps of Canada. <laughs> Well, in 1936, anyway. <laughs> so that's the writer's map. And uh, so those are my art books that I uh, had got. Let me move them off the table because I'm going to do pan pastels. So, <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> and there's my Daphne Kylie. This goes to the Samantha. What else do I have? Um, I did pull this one because we've looked at it before. We've looked at this before, and I bought this some time ago on Amazon. I still have the little receipt in here. When did I buy this? Um, but we all bought, we all bought, well, everybody bought it again when I showed it some time ago. I'm trying to look at a date. When did I buy this? It's an old, it's an old book. What you mean, what's a zine? But I always get people asking about zines. You can still get this. Um, I'm trying to find a date. It's really a faded slip. The slip is very faded. When did I get it? Hmm. 2009 is when I bought the book. But the I think it's older than that. Let's see. How old is the book? 2006. So the book came out in 2006. I bought it in 2009. <clears throat> but um, it's like before everybody was doing everything on, well, not really, but this is how to hand make zines more than doing everything on the computer, right? And uh, it's all done by somebody drew, drew, drew comics to show it. Mark, Todd, and Esther Pearl Watson. What you mean, what's a zine? The art of making zines and mini comics with contributors by more than 20 creators of indie comics and magazines. And it's, it's really a fun magazine. I don't know how much, you know, you get a lot of use out of making one because we're going to use computers and printers and they're using copy machines, right? They're going to the copy machine and making the most of theirs. But there's just a lot of cool information, how to cut different size zines, for, see, zine formats. There's tons of different ways to do zines. But I like it because of the comics. I like it because of the art in it, right? But here's the ISBN on this one. 9780-618-563-159, okay? And, uh, but I get people asking me about them all the time. And uh, so it's just, I mean, just look at all the little, the little doodles and illustrations and there's the author's note. Let's read the author's note. Hang on. Well, uh, some of it anyway. <laughs> We started making zines before we ever really knew what a zine was. Esther was looking at church programs and was inspired to make a half-sized sheet of paper stapled in the middle. She drew and wrote stories of lovelorn, wide-eyed teen girls. Mark's mini comics were the superhero type, full of explosions and robots on the run. Although these handmade labors of love had cover prices and promises of follow-up issues, most were given away to friends and were short-lived. Later, years later, we started to come across other people's zines. We discovered an entire world of people who created their own stories and commentary in this kind of format. We wanted to make a book that, would, would, that we would have loved to have found when we first started our mini comics. The great thing about zines is a freedom to be able to express your thoughts any way you like. The more raw and honest, the better. It's a world where the weird, absurd, absurd and unique is appreciated. This book is for anyone interested in creating their own zines and learning tips and tricks from 
from fellow zinesters. It's for getting thoughts and ideas down on paper and into others' hands. This book is for anyone who has something to say. And uh, so it's, <laughs> it's a whole, con look, look at the whole process here. Look, look at this one, Christopher. Christopher makes one page comics that kind of remind me of this. But <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, look at the process here. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> but uh Anyway, it's it's got all kinds of, you know, comics about what they're doing. Here's the evolution of self-publishing from 1950 to, to the 2000 to e-zines. Uh, but anyway, um, 1950s, Allen Ginsberg, Jack Kerouac, and other beat poets publish chap books. And it starts there and, you know, just the different ones, so... Great moments in zine history. But look at the comics. Look at the illustrations, the cartoons. I just I just love the whole, whole thing of it. From a zine to magazine. And then here's just different, just little series on how they do it. What's the big idea? A whole bunch of things on ideas, materials, writing, art of lettering. <clears throat> doing them with other people, formats, and here's all the different ways to make and cut them, which we've shown a few here over the years. Every time we do a zine swap, we show how to do the one-page simple zine um, cut and fold or fold and cut, original to copy. So look, it's just so, so cool. Copier tricks, copy talk. <clears throat> Go Pro. There's, oh, here. Is this it? Oh, my gosh. I think I read this. Y'all want me to read this one comic to you guys? It's hilarious. About the print Goko. How many of y'all know about the print Goko? Do you remember the print Goko? Binding. And look, here's the Postal Peril. Here's the postal peril. <laughs> oh my goodness. First efforts, wasted paper. And uh, let me see where everybody's at in chat. Let me scroll back a little. Uh, let's see. As Janice, map zine would be awesome. Oh, Janice talking about us doing a map zine swap. That would be fun, Janet. A map scene swap. Are you going to do one? Hmm. I'm, Janet's made, Janet made me, it should, maybe it'll be here today. Janet made me a box to hold my zines because they're just rubber banded together on a shelf. <laughs> and uh, so she made an awesome zine box for me that should be here today. It won't be here before the stream ends, I'm sure, but by Wednesday. So I can show it to you and put my zines in it. And uh, so <laughs> I can't wait to get it. But if you're going to talk about doing a map zine swap, I'm in, Janet. Uh, let's see. I'm in for that. All right. So I don't know. Nobody's talking about this, but I'll just kind of show it a little bit of it. I don't know if I'll read the whole thing. But y'all remember the print Goko. It was a little box, a little plastic box. I think Japan invented it and it had a big light bulb in it. And you could make uh, prints by, and it would have one big flash, and it would, you know, y'all remember the prank, Coco? With the side effects like that, sound side effects there? <laughs> okay. I don't know. Not getting much response on the prank, Coco. Janet will know what it is. And a swap is born. Okay, Janet. All right. So let me read a little bit. Now, you're not going to be able to really see much of the text because I can't get much closer than this without it just flashing out. Let's print Goko. If you like the look of screen, so he's he's thinking or reading something, or he's just thinking or speaking it right here. If you like the look of screen printing, but don't have the space or the money for a real screen print setup, consider the Goko professional quality home printing kit. So he gets the box, he's got it here, he's getting it out of the box. It's about the size of a shoe box. Molded in durable blue plastic, the GoCo is a self-contained mini screen printing kit. I mean, really, mini 
Maximum area is four by six inches. So it's like the size of a postcard. Right. Yeah. Not too small for a digest size booklet cover or to add some color to that black and white Xerox zine. Try using multiple screens to make a bigger image. Okay. But how does the GoCo work? The truth is no one really knows. It's got something to do with light, heat, and carbon. It's not really important. <laughs> you just worry about what you're going to print. So it's got he's got a little sketchbook there and thinking. You need to make the carbon master using a photocopy machine. Though some laser printers are compatible. And then he has a little, he's sitting in a chair going, I use an HP laser jet 1300 is what he's saying there. He's reaching over there to make a copy. The GoCo uses its own small, inexpensive asterisk, one pack of five for $12. Now, this was back in the day, right? The GoCo uses its own small, inexpensive, and disposable screens. Load one of these pre coated screens into your press. Carefully place your laser print or Xerox master on the sticky print pad with the blank backing sheet. So look at, a, look at how you can see the look on his face. But Lodge two of the odd yellow bulbs, asterisk, box of 10 bulbs, $12. Lodge two of the odd yellow bulbs into the exposure hood and snap the hood into place atop the GoCo. I, I mean, I can picture this just so clearly. I'm not reading chat for a second, guys. Now shield your eyes, look away, and press the GoCo firmly shut. Two a AA batteries engorge the bulbs with enough power to blast the, 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 oh, the Afro wound, like your, you know, the, the hair, uh, you know, an Afro hair, you know, the, the, what do you call it? Spiral, the spiral hair, you know, the spiral wound filament within to dust in a blinding flash of white light. <laughs> hmm. You smell that? Your screen is now exposed. Carefully dispose of the smoldering bulbs. Look at his face. The bulb. Remove the screen and use tubes of GoCo ink. Apply color to the open areas of your image beneath the transparent film. He's squeezing out a bunch of the ink right there. One distinct advantage of the GoCo over traditional screen printing is the ability to print multiple colors on a single screen. So he's going stamp, squeeze, stamp, stamp, squeeze. So he's going back and forth between stamping and putting more ink out. Thin self-adhesive ink blocking foam strips prevent unwanted color mixing. Build a barrier around your image to keep ink from being wasted. With your screen back in place, you're ready to print. The print pad is just sticky enough to hold your paper in place. That's a big help for multiple screen registration. The moment of truth. Press the handle down just hard enough to feel the print pad pushing back so that's what he's doing there i don't know if y'all can see i keep moving open it up and there it is it's working now just got to keep at it get in the zone you are a machine you are a factory but is it art look at all the prints look at all the prints anyway i just love that let's print go go because i just remember that so yeah there's cutting and collating, stapling. There's the staple guy. <laughs> the staple guy. Oh. <laughs> Different binding. So, you know, it's, it's, I mean, if you like zines, you're going to love this magazine. You'll love this. Zine trading. There's Janet giving all the bossiness. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> There's the postal peril. So anyway. Yeah, I'll give the ISBN again. 9780-618-563-159. And for a while it was on sale for like a dollar. I think now, I think I paid $12.99 when I got it, but I think it's up to like $16 or something. But last time they had a big thing of them, they were clearing them out for a dollar. 
and we all everybody bought them. Well, I already had one, but everybody bought bought them for a dollar. So I, maybe they did a new print run. I don't know. I think they're 16 now. I think so. That was I got mine in 2009. I'm gonna keep the little receipt in there because just because it's kind of cool. So there's what you mean. What's a zine? The other thing I was gonna show, and I did put these up. I did put this. Let me check chat. Now we all know how stables got started. Yes, zine makers, zine makers, Rachel. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> so let's see. Sounds like uh, the Brownie flash box camera. Maybe that's where they got the idea. Who knows, Rachel? I haven't uh, reviewed the, you know, I don't remember the history of the GoCo printer. I just remember it. Let me, let me look up and see what year it came out. Just out of curiosity. <clears throat> Print GoCo printer. Okay, so um, they have them for they have them for resale from up to 180 bucks, but I don't know if you can still get the bulbs and the screens and all. You know, uh, let me go to images real quick just to show y'all one. Here's a picture of one. This one's for 50 bucks, but it says it's in working says it's in working condition. But can you get the bulbs and the screens? So there's one there, just so you can see what it looks like. I'm not going to do it. I'm just telling you that it, they're still out there. Um, but let's just see the history. Let's see. All right. People ask the bulbs. How does it work? How do you use Resale Goko um, printing system invented in 1977? And it was made by, uh, and I'm, I know I'm going to say the name wrong, Japanese, Noboru Hayama, 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 um, 1977 was when it was invented. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you. There we go. Tina found the What You Mean, What's a Zine there for $12.13. $12 thank you, Tina. Um, let's see. Okay, so the other thing I was going to show, I did post a picture of these three books in my community tab. Um, okay, Rachel sent me a video, but I'm not going to watch a video right now, Rachel. I'll look at it later. Um, I, it's probably, I'm sure it's on the print GoCo. <laughs> but I showed these three books, uh, Linda Berry's books. Uh, I put them in my community tab last week, week 12 or 13. I forget which one it was. I did show this book last week and I said, well, let me go find her other two comp book books. I knew I had them. I just couldn't find them last week and I didn't want to make y'all sit and wait for me to go look for these books. But I found them and I posted pictures of them on my community tab, which I'm trying to post, you know, if it's a huge book, it'll be like one or maybe a slide over to two. But I posted all three of these uh, in one picture last uh, last Monday. So, oh, thank you, Devin. What'd you say? For your print go, go, go fund. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You're so funny. You're so funny, Devin. You are so funny. I am not going to get me a print go, go. <laughs> I'm not going to get one. Oh, uh, but thank you. Um, that will help with shipping when we do a, if we do a zine swap. I think Janet's going to do do the hosting. Uh, so we'll see what she says. And she's going to be in and out. She I just saw her do a BRB. She's got her family there today. I unless someone is seen, I don't know. If she is is she going to stream today? She may not even stream today if um, if she's got her family there. Well, when she comes back, let's ask her. Uh, when she comes back in, if she is going to, in fact, stream today. Okay, so I did show this one a little bit. This is kind of a little bit of a bio on her and also um, just some of her art and do you wish you could write? And she does, um, she does classes in colleges and this is one of her syllabus. This is like her actual like class. And then this one is making comics. This is her, the newest, as far as I know, this is her newest one. And it's not brand new. It's, it was before the virus. Uh, I'll look at the dates and I'll give you ISBN. Oh, Tori, thank you so much. Thank you for inspiring us for being a beautiful heart. Oh, well, thank you, Tori. 
Thank you. I appreciate that. And uh, and Tori also won one of the uh, things of fabric last week. All the fab they were all sent out the next day. So all y'all international, it may take a bit. But I hope some of y'all that are getting your international. I think Terry Brett, did you get your stamp swap yet? I think you said. I think you were one that got the stamp swap in uh, UK. <clears throat> so, but that was very sweet of you, Tori. Thank you. I appreciate, I appreciate anybody that supports the channel. Um, yes. <laughs> Alyssa was, uh, Alisa, I, I'll keep on saying Alyssa. Alisa was a uh, longtime lurker when, and then she sent me those arms. And now see, she's saying everyone is so nice. So she felt like she could say that. So you're not going to be, um, you don't have to be intimidated. Uh, you did. Okay. You don't have to be intimidated. So, you know, we can say, come on in. Come on. Come on in, lurkers. You can do it. Come on in. Come on in. <laughs> Elisa made those arms for me. So, um, but I did kind of do a quick flip through this one. And again, if you like any kind of comics, zine making, comic making, and, you know, just making, um, you know, little stories and stuff like this, then uh, Linda Berry will, she'll, in, she'll inspire you. Uh, we all started making some uh, different kind of comp books, you know, based on some of her stuff some years ago. She did, she did actually write a lot of her stuff here on legal yellow pads. Uh, so, yeah, but this is, all her books are like this. They're just packed full of little stories, inspiration, little notes, how to do things, how not to be afraid to do things. Um, and uh, I still, I kept them pulled out because I wanted to show them to you. And I'll probably go look through them again because they're just so fun. And then these are her two little, they, they look like comp books. You know, they even have the kind of binding that a comp book has. You know, and uh, so I'll tell you. Oh, let me let me go back here. Let me give y'all dates. And um, somewhere in here was the copyright. Here it was. Um, no, that's not it. Somewhere in here is the copyright though. Date. I can't remember where it was. It's it's hidden in here somewhere. <laughs> anyway, um, I forget the copyright date on this one, but it's hidden in there somewhere. But let me see if I can find the ISBN. It might be, oh, here we go. Is this it? I don't want to give you the wrong. I think this is it. I think this is the cover. So I'm pretty sure this is it. 978-189-7299357. But I don't remember the date. And like I said, it's hidden in here somewhere on one of her little post-it notes. But this was the, the cover, you know, over the thing there. So that's what it is. And then the syllabus, oh, it's probably the same thing. Here we go. The syllabus one came out in, ooh, I got to hunt. I got to hunt for it here. Let's see. 19, no, that's the one she was born. She was born in 1956. Um, I'm trying to find the copyright date. Well, you can find them easily enough. Uh, 2014. This one came out in 2014. I'll flip through. This one came out in, well, I don't know where the, I don't know. That's the cover, so I don't know. <clears throat> it came out a couple years later. I'm not sure. Oh, here we go. 2019. So this one came out in 2014. This one came out 2019. <clears throat> Let me look at chat real quick. Come on in. The water's fine. Yes. Thanks, Riri. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Elisa. <laughs> I know, right? They're, her books are awesome. They're so fun. And if you like comics and zines, and which was what we were talking about. And again, I showed the, her hardback. I think it might come in oversized paperback uh you know as well and i would call them paperback soft cover i think this comes in a soft cover now i got it when it was uh a hardback um 
and she has other little, I have some of her comic books, some of her comics and some of her zines um, that there weren't self-published ones, but the, I have some of her other books, but I just pulled these three because these are the main ones. Let's see. Uh, for my son to encourage him. Yeah, her, the, her books are good. Now, this one, you know, this one has got some adult content in it. You know, it's her it's her bio. It's her bio. Okay, so syllabus, um, notes from an accidental professor. She used this as actually a, um, this is her syllabus for the class, right? And she talks just how to, how to make art, how to, not to be intimidated. And this is her class. She, you had to work hard in her class. You missed days. You, you, if you didn't turn in assignments, you were, you were in trouble. <laughs> just saying. She was a strict teacher. Um, so yeah, she's, she's a strict teacher, but there's different ones from different students, different students work. And, uh, of course we have uh, Malibu coming up. <clears throat> It's okay, Malibu. It's okay. <laughs> and uh, so look, agenda and homework. And uh, it's, it's just lots of stuff. I mean, right, Julie? It's just so much. You just can't even believe how much is in her books. <clears throat> Do we memorize something? Homework. Dear Write What You See class, questions to ponder. The nature of our attention. What is concentration and how do we figure out how to do it? Is it something we learn to do? What does it mean for a child to be able to concentrate on something that really interests them? And then there's a little note. And what, what does it mean to have something captivate you? I'm looking at a spider there. Do Monday. Keep up with your daily diary entries. Um, comp book check. You leave your comp books with me on Monday. I'll return them to you on Wednesday. Read the fourth state of math. You know, she's got all the different things you got to read. You got a comp book check. You got to work in it every day. Set a timer and do these different little prompts. I mean, there's a lot. It's a lot. I don't know that I'd want to take one of her classes. <laughs> and then making comics is all about, again, making comics. Hi, Raj. Let me see. Malibu, Pi Cloud. Yes. Oh, no. Oh, no. I hear you. Making comics drawn and court. Linda Berry, drawn and quarterly. There was a time when drawing and writing were not separated for you. In fact, our ability to write could only come from our willingness and inclination to draw. In the beginning of our writing and reading lives, we drew the letters of our name. The notions each require, each the, no, the motions each requires hadn't become automatic yet. There was a lot of var variability of shape, order, and orientation. The letters were characters, and when certain characters got together in a certain order, they spelled your name. <clears throat> so you're supposed to write your name. And this is very, it's just like, a, it's just like, I'm telling you, it's just like a um, comp book, thin, thin paper. <laughs> which makes it more fun and interesting because there's a lot in these pages. I don't know if she has a number. Yeah, the, uh, almost 200 pages. You wouldn't think that was 200 pages, but it's that thin paper, you know. So I'm just going to kind of flip through again. Again, you're just, just, just tons, tons of inspiration. This one's on making comics. Monster, this is your life. <laughs> Why make monsters? <clears throat> what what's this say? What does that say right there? Does that say two hands at once? <laughs> uh, okay, let's keep flipping here. Exercises to do. Oh, and she's big on flare pins. Flare pins. You know, let's see what I have one sitting here. Oh, uh, yeah. You know, flare pins. These. It's paper made flare pins, these things. 
They're kind of like a nice, a pointy marker, but they don't go through like Sharpies, flare pens. She's big on everything being in a flare pen. Well, maybe not everything, but let me get the back cover here so I can flip. File folders. Character jam. Making characters, doing different things. You had to make your character, whatever your character was, do different um, activities. <clears throat> Four basic panels. I mean, look, just, just got so much stuff, right? Some prompts here, words and phrases. Where's your memory? The walk. Choose a walk. <laughs> Variations. It's just it's just jam-packed. Character zine. And so this is all the homework and stuff that she'd make you do. Do you remember when those flare pins came out? Oh, my gosh. It had to be. Was it in the 70s, Tina? I don't remember when I first. Because, you know, I wouldn't have been able to afford them when I was a kid. I would have just been using black and blue Bix. <laughs> so I don't know when flares would have come out where I could have bought them. You know, now I love the flares. I love doing, uh, I can do, uh, what do you call it? Uh, I like doing mini calligraphy with them. I mean, small calligraphy, like you got something like, you know, let's see here. I'm pressing too hard. <clears throat> Let me just write some of in here. I mean, I like writing with them small, calligraphy, thin. I mean, it's tiny. Yeah. <clears throat> the 70s. Yeah, I could look at, oh, let's look it up now. See, now we got to know. We got to know now. Hi, Beth. Anybody else coming in? When, Google is your friend, when were flare pens invented? Well, I don't know when, I'd say they were invented. They're probably, um, let me see, I accidentally got a, okay, let's see, 1966. Writing with the flare, paper mint flare felt tip pen makes its debut in 1966. A consumer favorite to this day is maintained its iconic design and has continued to delight consumers with its dynamic range of colors and quick drying, quick drying water-based ink that won't bleed through paper. Yeah, I have tons of colors of flares. I won't pull them out right now. But, yeah, I, I have probably every color of flair. Um, okay, so um, so there's Linda Berry's books. Um, one more thing I did buy, which I did not need, impulse purchase. <laughs> it came up in my Amazon feed. And then we're going to go in color in um, with, uh, with uh, pan pastels. We're going to color. I already picked out a page out of here that we're going to color with pan pastels. So we have enough time. Two hours will be enough time. I try to get done by noon. So these, has anybody seen these pop up in their feed? The grabby watercolors. And I've seen two ads. One had 50, one had 100. I think the one with 50 came with just like one brush or something. This one came with three water brushes and a sketch pencil. Not that I needed any of those. Now where's all the, all right, where, where, where's my brushes, baby? Have you, uh, all right, well, there's one. There's one of them. <laughs> there's two more somewhere on my table. Oh, there they are. They're behind Malibu. So it came with three different water brushes, three different sizes. It came with a little squatty short one, which I guess is good for travel, and it's a fine point. It came with the larger, larger one with the bigger tip, and then this one has the flat. This one has the flat tip, okay? And it came with a sketch pencil, which, you know, it's just a 2B pencil. But this came in it along with the 100. So does, has anybody? 
I've not even swatched them yet. I could swatch them, Janet. Oh, yes. We could swatch. It came with a swatch chart. I've not wet it. I've not wet them down. I've not swatched them. I've not done anything with them until I show them to y'all. <laughs> but Janet, you have not. Janet has very nice M. Graham and nice watercolors. I got some nice ones too. Janet has also sent me a few nice ones. Where's my watercolor? Here's my um. Here's the watercolor set. Now it's the, it's not made in watercolors. This is just the box. I bought the box and the um, the past the um, what do you call it the half pans. I bought them separately, and uh, and made my own palette here. So I do use this, and there's some nice expensive uh, watercolors in here. <laughs> but you know, you know, I don't have to tell you. You see a nice palette with a hundred colors. <laughs> swatch and make swatch, swatch, swatch. Hang on, girl. Look at her. <laughs> I already pulled them out of the box. So it comes with a little plastic. And these are the kind of plastics I tell y'all that you can use um, like your um, super tips. You can, uh, you know, any water-based markers. You can put them out on here and add water and use this as a, like a little mixing palette for water-based markers. Awesome. Here's the here's the swatch. Let's. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna read all the colors first, and then I, no, I'm not, just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm not gonna read all 100 colors. Although some of you would probably like that, but um, yeah. So it's a hundred colors. Let's move the brushes over here out of the way. If I swatch them, I'll just, I have water. Oh, I don't have much water in here. I'll have to get some more water in my, this water brush here. But uh, <laughs> let's move this over to the side for a minute. All right, here's what it comes as. Let's zoom in. Let's zoom in. All right, Janet, wait for it. What did sister say? I miss it. Please open the box. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> here we go. All right, let's move this out of the way. All right, here we go. <clears throat> Comes with a latch like this. I love. We all love the. Now they could have made. They could have sold this more to us if they'd made this in pink or teal. You know what I'm saying, right? <laughs> Here we go. There are the colors. <clears throat> and I'm not sure if it, I think it goes this way. Let's see. Yellow, gray, burnt umber, raw umber. No, it's not the right way. Um, yeah, this is not matching up because that is not, well, it says pink lilac and lilac. Okay, they're calling, they have their names, right? <coughs> Let me get a pencil to point. They're calling this pink lilac and lilac. They're calling this yellow ochre. So regardless of what they're naming them, if you have them swatched out, you'll at least know <laughs> what they look like. All right, let's see another um, name here. Candy Brown. Candy Brown. And then next to that is Candy Violet. The names are really, the names, I don't know. They're fun names, but are they, like, you know, accurate? Is that something you would recognize? You know, probably not. All right, we'll do a quick swatch. We'll do a quick swatch. Let me, um, I'm, let me get a little bit more water in this brush. Hang on. <clears throat> okay. Let me get a, a tissue because that's the best. Uh, tissues are the best for um, tissues are the best for you know wiping off your water brushes. They they absorb it really nicely or quickly. All right. So what I'm going to do? Don't anybody email me. This is what I do with a lot of my. Whoops. Oh, there one now. But that scared her. <clears throat> Wait for it. Wait for it. And these are in little plastic trays. I think they're removable. Not that I'm ever planning on removing them. But if you do something like spray them like I just did, don't shut the palette when they're all wet. 
Don't do that. Leave it open till they dry. All right. So let's go ahead and quickly swatch. Got a little water here. Let's wipe that up. All right. Here we go. I'm going to try to do this quick. I'm not going to call out the names either. I'm not going to call out all these names. We're going to do this quick. It's going to be a quick swatch. Quick swatch. <laughs> what did she say? Uh, Jan is passing out. Oh, no, nah, I don't think so. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to swatch. Oh, let me zoom in even more. Hang on. All right. I think we got it there. Okay, I think we got everything in. Not quite, but almost. Just about. Okay, so I'm going to just quickly and then squeeze and clean. Go to the next one. Can y'all see okay? I'm not, I'm not going to do Janet. Janet would have a ruler out. And again, if I put a second coat, it's going to be even darker. You could do it. You could do two coats. Like you could do the first half. You swatch it once. And then let it dry and then do a, a swatch on half of the other half to, so you can see the full, um, the full, you know, pigment of it. Okay. All right. So here we go. They're already all wet, ready to go. I'm trying to be a little neat, Janet, but you know. And I'm just kind of wiping it on my tissue here and getting, a, getting the next color. I don't know. This may take a while. I'm kind of trying to do it fast, but. I'm not necessarily trying to be stay in lines perfectly. Let's see. Fourth one over to this one. But I'll hold it up so you can kind of see. They're very pigmented. I'm, I'm kind of impressed with the pigmentation of them, Janet. I'm using Janet as my, you know. Because <laughs> Janet does, she does have a lot of watercolors. And I'm just wiping on here. All right, so this is black. <clears throat> Janet would have ruled out. <laughs> so there you can see the color. See, they're pretty pigmented, right? All right, let's go to the next. Are y'all are y'all liking to see this now? Well, let me know because I still want to do I still want to do our uh, pan pastel, uh, glorious ink face girl. Might need a little bit more water. I don't know. This may take too long. I'll go for five minutes. Let's see how how many we can get done in five minutes. At the end of five minutes, we're mo we're moving on, people, as Keisha would say. <clears throat> Let me get it really clean there because now I've got some peach colors coming up. All right, let me get another tissue because otherwise I'll just be picking up the paint off the tissue. <clears throat> All right, let's see what are we saying in chat. Dee Dee, the paint in the little pans or plastic insert. Plastic insert. Yeah, it's not in it's not in half pans. Well, if they are in, I can't tell. They look like they're just in the plastic. I could try to get an X-Acto knife and see if they pop out. <laughs> we can try to pop one out. <clears throat> okay. See, I'm squeezing out the water there. All right, so there's another row. I'll hold it up. <clears throat> No, they're not chalky that I can tell, Janet. We'll let it dry. Once they're dry, we'll see what, what you know, we'll, we'll see. But they don't seem chalky so far. They don't seem chalky so far at all. Uh, 
I don't know if anybody's found them to put in a link. I think they're kind of new. I mean, new being, you know, maybe new packaging from another, you know, who knows who really. Lindsay, a frugal crafter, could probably tell you what what's what province they were made in. So I don't know. You know what I mean? Uh, but what if if Lindsay did a whole all of her watercolor she did a whole watercolor somebody wanted to put in that link to that video that's fine she uh did all her watercolors it was like like over an hour two hour long <laughs> i don't remember how long it was but uh, i think these came out after she did that video so i don't think i i mean i watched most of it and i don't remember seeing this one in there but she would be the one to tell you where they were made, who manufactures them, you know, all that. But uh, cleaning the brush. But they don't seem chalky. I will hit them with the heat gun and dry them. I need the color names. Oh, you do? <laughs> All right, hang on. I'll do I'll do a few because it's almost five minutes already and I've already got three rows. I'll have to I'll do all of them and then I mean I'll read these to you, Kat, but I will do um I'll squatch them all before Wednesday and then we'll read all the names. But I'll go ahead and read these off to you. Let's see, they're little. Yellow ochre, yellow gray. Whoops. Yellow ochre, yellow gray. Get right there. Burnt umber, raw umber, red ochre brown van dyke brown gray Payne's gray and black those aren't two odd names but pink lilac lilac purple dark purple byzantine beige cinnamon pink rose powder raw ochre dark green dark turquoise lake blue cobalt blue sky blue peacock blue Prussian blue, indigo, ultramarine, and oh, that one's little. Brilliant green purple. And that's all I got swatched so far. Maybe they're not as odd as I think, but I just see some weird names in there compared to looking at them. You know, like I would not think of pink lot. I would not think of pink lilac, but you know, that's just me. But then I guess they're not too odd. All right, so let me dry them real quick. Let me plug in my heat. Hang on. All right. And this is some kind of watercolor paper. I'm not sure what. It's a cold press, but I don't know, you know, who makes it. Or... Okay, so, yeah, they don't, even the black doesn't seem chalky. They don't seem chalky, Janet. They're not, they don't feel chalky. They don't look chalky. Yeah, they're not chalky. They seem pretty good. <clears throat> nice. <laughs> yeah, they're not bad names after all. Maybe I just caught the few that were odd, like pink lavender or something like that so yeah uh let's see what did joe say i missed something here nearly 100 pounds in the uk on amazon hmm well i don't know i don't know where they ship from too you know um on amazon they were about 50 dollars. i think i think it was about 50 dollars. but it's the hundred set and it came with the three brushes and, and whoopie do a sketch pencil. But um, yeah, it, came, it did come with the three brushes. But the reason I got it, even if it didn't have the three brushes, I got it for it because it had 100, 100 colors. I will finish swatching these and show them on Wednesday. Okay, but this is what the box looks like. Grabby. I've never heard it popped up in an advertisement feed. Took me right to Amazon. You know. 50 regular colors, 35 metallic colors, 5 fluorescent colors, and 10 macar macaron colors. Is that like the food, the candy, the pastry? <laughs> but anyway, <clears throat> yeah. 
So I'll finish doing that and uh, we'll look at them all later. And we'll see how long it takes us to do it. I'm not going to close this now. Remember, there's water on there. You don't want to shut it and have them all, you know, mixed together. All right. So let me put that to the side. Move this over here. Let's move that over there. Okay. Uh, before we get started, does anybody want three prompts for the week or the day or anybody? Three prompts. I'm going, I'll pull for anybody. Oh, that's really close. Let's back up. Let's back up. Let's back up. Maybe one more. There we go. All right. Um, they're sold under different names. Well, yeah, I don't know. That's just a new name of whoever manufactures them. Grabby. Okay. Um, Terry Brett wants three. Okay. Terry, did I show you? Yeah, I think I did. I showed him this name. Okay, I'm going to dig down here. All right, Terry wants three. Joe wants three. All right, here we go. <clears throat> All right, Terry, Brett, Bell. I try not, you know, I always hope that there's fresh words come up, but I mix them so much, it's, I don't have no way of knowing, you know, what's coming up. Okay, next. Fence. And Jewel. Did you just have Jewel, Terry? If y'all want different ones, I will pick different ones. You know. All right. So there's Terry. Now, Joe. Joe. Earring. Hair. And Tibet. There we go. So Terry... If you know, you didn't show the Winnie the Pooh. Okay, so is it is it on Instagram? I'll show it. <clears throat> Let me go over to Instagram, find Terry. Yeah, y'all have to remind me when I ask to show um, y'all stuff because, you know, I will likely miss. Okay, Winnie the Pooh. Okay, so Terry's last prompts were Bird, Winnie the Pooh, and Rain. So here we go. It's so cute. There's our Winnie the Pooh, an umbrella, a little bird, and says, I love the smell of rain. So there's Terry Brett's three prompts. Awesome, Terry. Uh, you want three too, Rachel? Three, two. Okay, they are okay. All right, so yours are okay. I'm not going to put them back in the bag till the end of the day because that way nobody gets them again. All right, Joe, here's your three. All right, let's see. Rachel. I did show Rachel's. Armadillo. And if you get one that I pick, that you picked like last week, tell me because I'm not going to remember. I'm not going to remember who got what. So if you don't want, you know, if you want something different, just tell me. Bike. Bikes come up a lot. And there's only one bike in here. And fly fishing. Okay. <laughs> All right, Rachel. Armadillo, bike, and fly fishing. There's Joe's. Earring, hair, and Tibet. Okay. You're not doing these anymore? Why not, Leona? How come you're not going to do them anymore? They're... They were my, actually, she did before me. Who was what before you did what? <laughs> what were yours before she did what? I don't, I, I don't know what that means, Leona. You'll have to explain that. Um, I don't know who the she, the they, or the what mean. <laughs> I'm reading so many people's chats. Y'all got to remember, guys, you're not the only person I'm reading. I'm reading everybody. So when you say they or she, I don't know who the they or the she is. So you have to tell me better. So I'm not sure what you mean. Um, yeah, well, I'm. trust me, I'm not worried. <laughs> okay, so there we go. Um, if you want to explain things, guys, I'm feel free. I don't want to sound frustrated. But, you know, guys, if you say they and she and I went and they said, I have no idea what you're talking about. You got to remember, there's 100 people rolling through chat. I mean, I know there's lurkers too, but I don't know what the they, the she, the 
you have to tell me. Okay, so now let's go over to our color books that we're going to do. We're going to do this today. Um, I think I picked one. Here is just, I had one in here that uh, I worked on at some point. I already did a flip through these earlier before, you know, before everybody got here. So if you want to see flip throughs of these, I did that at the beginning of the show. I did these at the beginning of the show. Um, oh, okay. So yeah. Oh, well, if that's what she means. Yeah. The Winnie the Pooh prompts. Well, did I show your picture? Did you show, um, did I show your three prompt picture, Leona? You're going to get them again, just like bike. I think bike has come up 10 times. So, um, uh, but I don't, I don't know. Did you want me to show yours, Leona? Did you do one? You'll have to remember, guys, how many people that I'm reading and dealing with at one time, plus doing a project, plus showing things, you know? Um, yeah. Okay. Let's see. Well, and then Leona, your name is not Leona on, you'll have to tell me your name on IG. So if you want to tell me your name on IG, I'll go look for your um, Winnie the Pooh. Or I may have shown it last week. I don't remember. <sighs> okay, let's see. Custom open packages occasion. Um, okay, and see, like, Rachel just put this in here. I have no idea what she's talking about. Customs opens packages. Janet can verify $20 bill never showed up. What are you trying to ask me, Rachel? <laughs> I don't know what you're trying to ask me there. <clears throat> oh, you just hadn't gotten to it yet. Well, that's okay. Yours is going to be totally different. You do you. You do you. And Rachel, I have no idea why you're telling me that. Did something not show up for somebody? All right, I'm moving on, people. We're going to get in the weeds. We're already in the weeds. Okay. <laughs> We're already in the weeds. Uh, I think this one is the one I picked to do today. Um, so, yeah. And this one is out of the Mermaid book. Okay. The Mermaid and Friends. This is the one I think I had decided to do today. Again, if you want to see flip-throughs through all three of these books, I did it at the beginning of the show. All right. Let's see. Oh, it was just a cat boo boo. Okay, all right. Let's get some. Let's get some pan pastels, and let me get my little box of supplies. Yeah, be specific, people, if you're talking to me, because I'm trying to keep up with a lot. <clears throat> all right, let's see. I have not picked colors or anything. I'm going to move this to the side so we have room to work. But this is the book that I pulled it from. Uh, I have cut out pages out of them. There's a lot of loose pages. You know, I, I did cut one out and send it to Zandra because, you know, she's our resident mermaid. Um, so let's see what we're going to do. So my tools, let's see if I can remember to explain everything. Um, pan pastels are not like regular pastels. They're not like, they're not oil pastels, of course, but they're not like chalk pastels. They're totally, uh, have a different feel. They're creamy smooth. They're not chalky at all. They're barely dusty. They're a little dusty, but they're not too dusty. You do have to put a fixative on them when you're done because they are pastels. So they will smear. You have to you have to uh, spray them with a fixative. So, um, and they're, they're tools and they have been bought out. They have been bought out by um, Golden. So Bernadette um, does not own them anymore. Uh, but I always was after Bernadette to make uh, one of these sponges into a palette. I did tell Golden I would love to have them have a palette with the sponge material. It's not like a makeup sponge. It's different. It's a different, It's it feels totally different than a makeup sponge. Not that I've felt every makeup sponge in the world. Somebody's going to email me, go, I've got that. I've got that makeup sponge. Okay. I've never felt it. I've never felt a makeup sponge that feels like they're, and it's S-O-F-F-T. It's soft. <laughs> That's the name of the, the, the um, material that these sponges are made out. 
it's the same that's on the tips of the different size, um, the different size um, <clears throat> applicators. Uh, let's see, I can find uh, who is, all right. Um, I don't know. Okay. You can't find the coloring books. Um, I'm not sure if they're on Etsy. I think they come uh, there. She's international. It probably is on Etsy. Um, look up Christian Glorious Inc. There's her name. That's her coloring book name. Christian Glorious Inc. Uh, I'm not sure if she's on uh, Etsy. She, I don't think you're going to find her. You might find her on Amazon. But I'm pretty sure that you'd have to look on Etsy to find her, her books. But I don't know. It's been some years. It's been some years since um, I've looked her up, the books up. Um, let's see. Uh, okay, let's keep going. So they have different size applicators. I'm more apt to use this one because it's pointy and detailed. I also usually use pencil. Pencil, color pencils. <laughs> I usually use color pencils for details. Okay. They have different size sponges and I use different ones. This is what I use to mix on because I don't have a, you know, they don't have a palette for it yet. So I use these and there's these kind of, there's all different kinds of sponges. They erase very easily with um, a kneaded eraser so if you go out of lines or you don't like something until you spray them you can erase them with a, a kneaded eraser or you know i also have for small details i have the little the little erasers too and i have different different sizes of erasers um but they'll, they'll erase is my point uh so i mix on these <clears throat> um let me get a paper towel to clean the okay to clean your little brushes your applicators off you can just clean them off on a sponge okay and once you know once nothing's coming off of them then they're clean enough to use even though they look dirty they're if you've cleaned off all the pastel you can still continue to use these all right let's see um Mystic Art Mirrors on Etsy. Thank you. Uh, yeah, because I think Cat and Paste is, she's done, uh, let me look her up real quick, uh, Cat and Paste. I think Cat and Paste has colored some of these, haven't you, Cat and Paste? Let me look her up. And I've colored a, a lot of them, too. They're just not in these books. They're in my separate, uh, my binder. They're in my binder. Let's see. Let me get Cat and Paste. Okay, <clears throat> I'm going to scroll through hers real quick and see if I recognize some, because I know she's done some before, but it's probably been a while before Christmas. She did a lot of Christmas. You can, you can answer me if you, if you want to, Cat and Paste, tell me if you've done some of hers. I'm pretty sure I remember seeing some glorious ink in your feed, but, uh. Who did all these little bunnies? Okay, okay, that's okay. Am I looking for nothing? <laughs> for some reason, I think I've seen you color some of her stuff. If y'all follow, follow Cat and Paste, y'all need to. She's got stunning coloring. Stunning coloring. Okay, well, I can't find it right now, but but she's right. It's Mystic Mirror. Mystic Art Mirror. Okay. All right. So let's see what we want to do here. I've not picked any colors, no skin tones. Do I want the octopus to be greens, purples? Do I want her hair to be pink, green? You know, she's kind of a mermaid girl. Um, <clears throat> I know, Rachel. I love Cat and Paste um, Instagram feed. I have to look it up. Just... Uh, well, I wasn't sure, Angie. I wasn't sure of the name. And obviously I had it wrong because <laughs> it's Mystic. Her her name is Kristen. Kristen Glorious Inc. But her Etsy shop is Mystic uh, Art Mirrors. 
So I didn't have it right anyway. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, Trisha, maybe it's Trisha Green that I've seen has done a lot of them. Yes, she also has a tattoo IG, not cat and paste. <laughs> Kristen Gloria Sink also has a tattoo page. And um, she <laughs> she uh, uh, has a, a, her own work tattooed all over her body. Just saying. And uh, let's see. Um, okay, I just saw something. I just saw Becky post this. Um, Aunt Beck, if you want me to see anything, or, this is for anybody. I saw Aunt Beck posted, um, this is Aunt Beck's picture where she took of her doll wearing the outfit, but she just put Dee Dee, and it just so happened that I scrolled and saw it, Beck, but I will not find it with Dee Dee. You have to put in at, you know, or, or hashtag Inkywell or Dee Dee Willingham. Have to hashtag her. I just happened to see it. So if y'all want to see, look at Becky's uh, Instagram to see the outfit that I showed earlier. Uh, it just scrolled by. So who am I looking for? Oh, God. <laughs> Terry. Um, not Terry Brett. Um, who am I looking for? I'm trying to squeeze so much in. Uh, Terry. Uh, Trisha Green. Sorry. I always get Terry Brett and Trisha Green's names mixed up. Okay. Trisha Green. Okay, Trisha Green. Let me look at hers. Yes, there we go. She's got one right at, right there um, from two days ago. There we go. Thank you. Um, thank you, whoever told me to look up um, Trisha Green. <laughs> there's one there. So there's one of her um, colored uh, mystic mirror, mystic art mirrors. Let's see who else did she. Let me go back. I know she's got more than one. Let's see if I can pick one out here. But um, Trisha Green is also one that has a lot of cool coloring. Okay, so just go over there and follow her and look for her. Um, <laughs> she does. I don't know if... Uh, <laughs> let me see if I can find her. I don't know if it's under Glorious Ink or Mystic. Let me see. I might be under glorious ink. Her um, there's mystic. Okay, that's her color book page. Now let's see if I can find her. Glor oh, here it is. Is that it? Glorious. Yes. Okay. So here's uh, Christian glorious ink is her other. So it's mystic art mirrors is her color book. Christian glorious ink shows her tattoos, and these are just her work that's done on different people. Uh, tattooed with her work on them. I first I thought it was all hers because she's totally covered in her. There's that's some of the tattoos of her her drawings, her drawings. So there's she has two channels. Okay, so let's get started. What do I want to do? Um, let's see. Oh, do I want her to be kind of medium skin? colors do i want her to have like a you know kind of a golden brown color skin maybe <clears throat> uh, and let's see do i want her to be like in the greens for for um the octopus and her hair i kind of like this color green for her hair I'm not going to find a lighter. Here's a golden color. Let's see which one. Do I like. Maybe that for her hair. This for her skin. The octopus then could be in purples. And I could do stenciling, although there's not a lot of room around it to stencil. It's not like some of the pages have a lot of space where I could stencil a lot. But I think maybe we'll do, let's do these colors for the octopus. How about those colors? Do you like those colors? Hi, Sandra. <laughs> Talking about, speaking of mermaids, there's our Sandra. <clears throat> and then let's see. I can do purple. I can do the, the color of the uh, octopus is these purples. I could do her eyes in those colors. 
and do her hair in those colors and her skin in those colors. Of course, you know, I'll need some black and white. Let's see here. <clears throat> shift things around. And you can buy these pan pastels. You can buy them individually. You can buy them in trays. You can buy a set of skin tones. Uh, when you buy them, when you buy them individually, they have lids on them. They have screw top lids. They have screw top lids when you buy them individually. Uh, or you can buy trays that are in, um, like this is a full set. Uh, there's four trays in the full set, like this. There's four trays, like this. Of course, I've already pulled them out of here. Um, <clears throat> or you can buy sets of like, I think there's like six in or eight in the skin tone. You can buy different sets. So you can look on Blick. You can look, uh, you know, uh, I'm, they're everywhere. I, I see them all the time. I see them at Blick. They, Blick has their own stands of them. All right, so let me move that. This Let me just move this out of the way so I have room. Let's move the water thing out of the way. Okay. All right. <clears throat> this won't take, it shouldn't, this one shouldn't take too long. It's kind of a big face. Let's just move the shadow of the pan pastel thing that way. There we go. All right. I think we're finally ready to start on this. Uh, you can get a set of 20, Devin says. Yeah. Um, and the thing is, you know, they're they're probably about, I don't know, I haven't priced them recently, six, seven dollars each. But that's the same as a Copic marker. You know, it's the same as a Copic marker. And I can't, I've had these for a, quite a long time. Oh, I need to get out my black and white. Um, and other than the white, I have not, uh, hardly used up anything, but I'm not doing like, I'm not doing paintings with them, you know, sceneries and things like that. I'm not doing that. <clears throat> oh, that was it. Um, and what they have with each one and mine are not in order, but these might be the closest you have the you have the main color, then you have the shade and the dark shade and the tint. Now, this is not the tint that goes with that, with that. But they have your main color, a tint, a shade, and a dark shade for every color. Uh, well, except for black and white. Okay, let's see. Let me get my black here. <clears throat> oh, dark gray. That's dark gray. That'll be good. All right. <clears throat> if you have any questions, put it in caps, but don't put it in caps if you're not talking to me. All right. Let me get a baby wipe to keep my hands clean. All right. Let's see. All right. Because you want to keep your hands clean because, you know, especially after you spray it and you continue to work, you want to, you don't want to to uh, mess it up. All right. So let's see. So let's go in and start. These are the skin tones. This is the hair. This is the octopus. Let's start with the skin tones. I'm going to just, I'll just go ahead and just get everything base down with a nice creamy kind of yellow color. <clears throat> and you are going over dark lines. You're going over black line art. So if you want that black line art to show up, on your finished piece, you're going to have to go back over it with pencil, marker, whatever, you know. And she's got a little veil on, but her, you know, she would show through here. 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 So, and that goes for pupils, eyelashes, anything that you want to be black or dark, you're going to have to go back over, um, back over it to make the, the line art show. I'll just go right over her lips. This is just a base coat here. Okay, her neck. Same thing for all that lace. If I want that lace to be a color or if I want it to be black, I'll go back over it with pencil or a marker. Like a, you know, a Sharpie pen, not a Sharpie marker, but... All right, before I start blending in, you know, other shades of her 
um, I want to do her eyes are going to be the same color. So let's go ahead as the octopus. So I'm going to just go ahead and do the whole octopus in the in the first color of purple. And then I'll go back in and shade and highlight after I spray it. After I sprayed, I can go in here with pencil. And I just use Prismacolors most of the time. Um, and um, pencil and Posca highlighting. Did Janet say if she was streaming today? Janet, are you back in the room? Are you going to stream today? I know because you have the company. I'll try to pay attention to see her answer. <clears throat> uh, yeah, so many cool supplies. A little time. I hear you, Janet. I hear you, girl. <clears throat> and you can see there's very little dust, uh, really hardly any at all. They're not dusty and chalky like chalk pastels. Where's Octopi in there? <laughs> Rachel. Oh, my goodness. <clears throat> Still looking for Janet to answer. I don't want to tell everybody to go to Janet's at one if she's not streaming <laughs> because her company. All right. So now that I got the base on there, I can take my kneaded eraser. I'm still trying to figure out that out. Probably not because I'm living in crazy town. Okay. <laughs> uh, well, if you have Janet, uh, her, ring Janet's bell, then you'll get notification if she does go on. All right. So I can just go in here and with an eraser and you can what's nice about a kneaded eraser is you can make it pointed and get in the details you know <clears throat> but you do have to keep moving it and cleaning it otherwise you're just smearing the pastel instead of picking it up and cleaning it i don't know that i'm really need to be that fussy because i'm thinking about putting some uh uh stenciling in the background so i don't know that i really need to get too in the in detailed about getting out you know, edges, but I just want to show you that it can be done. All right, let's go down here at the bottom. There we go. Got a base coat. And I know it's just very flat, but you got to, you gotta get the base. Gotta have the base. <clears throat> All right, and I keep cleaning my kneaded eraser back here. All right, let's see. It looks like she's got a little bit of, almost got a little bit of uh, octopi something going on here off the bit of her hair. So I'm just going to throw a little bit in there. All right, so let's clean this off. And you can buy replacements for these by little packs. They come in little packs. And, um, oh, I wanted to do her eyes. You can buy little um, replacement packs of the tips, especially this pointy one. You do go through these quite a lot. There we go. Um, lurkers and balcony crown. Oh, oh, thanks. Yeah, <laughs> Rachel's going lurkers and balcony crown. Please say hi or give a thumbs up. I appreciate it if you do, even when I get my teacher voice on. <laughs> uh, okay, there we go. Uh, a little bit more right smeared right there. Okay. All right, so that's a start now. I want a little bit of the dark and shadow here. I think we'll turn it over and get the nice tip there. 
And then I'm going to add highlights and stuff. You can erase things out. You'll see. Just trying to get some color on here now. We'll get more of the dark in here in a minute. Cat Pace, I swear that if you look up something on Amazon that Dee Dee has shown, the customer always bought suggested something else Dee Dee show. <laughs> I, well, I, um, Pacola has always been trying to get me to do an Amazon affiliate, which I'm sure I could have made a little bit of money off of it doing it. But it's a lot of work to set up and keep up and maintain an, an Amazon affiliate. It's, it's some work. And for me, it just doesn't seem, you know, I, the, the money that I'd make off of it isn't comparable to the time that it would take me to do it. So I just don't. But yeah. <laughs> Tina. All right. So let's see. Let's just stop on that. Let's go ahead and do the hair here. Shuffle this over here. And I'm going to start with, um, I think I'll just go ahead and start with this green. I don't think I need the gold in there very much. Maybe I can use that as a highlight, but I want her hair to really be green. Let me get a bigger. Let me get one bigger because I can get faster here. I just don't, uh, you know, it does take time to do uh, an Amazon affiliate store. And I will have to go out in a minute and spray this. I didn't really want to go over those uh, earrings, but I'll just erase it. Doesn't look like a lot yet. Just give it a minute. Got to get all that base in. And I'll do some individual hairs with pencil. All right. All right. Let me just keep try to keep the background kind of clean there before I go spray it in a minute. <clears throat> Hi, Amy. Thank you. Yeah, we're doing pan pastels today after a couple hours of show and tell. <laughs> Art books and magazines and paints. Oh, my. All right. So uh, let's see. Let me go ahead and clean off. Oh, let me go back to the green. I want to go ahead and do the dark green in the hair. Alrighty. Kind of a moss green instead of a bright green like we do sometimes. <sighs> and when you do that, I tell y'all <laughs> I tell y'all this every time. When you, um, they don't get a lot of dust on them, but there is a little bit. And when you, when you, um, you know, just and try to get rid of any of the dust, make sure that you don't accidentally spit on it <laughs> because you cannot go over water. I mean, you can go over it, but you're going to leave a, let me, I'll give you an example here. I won't spit on anything. I'll just give you an example. Let me get a piece of paper out from under here. So, like, here's your pan pastel, right? Here's your pan pastel. And if you get any water on it, I'm not going to spit on it. I'm going to use this over here. You just get, a, if you get any kind of water. So, if you blow on this and you get any spittle on there, this is what's going to happen. And you don't want this to happen. Even one little dot. One little dot of water. And, and uh, that happens. 
So don't get any water on this unless you want that effect. Unless you want to do some kind of an effect. That's different, but don't accidentally. <laughs> uh, so when chlorine in the pool, is that the color of the hair? Oh my gosh, Rachel. <laughs> All right. All right, so let's see. I just want to kind of get any excess that's kind of floating around there that might be on my hands. That's why you want to keep a baby wipe handy to kind of keep your hands clean. But now your hands are damp, so don't, you know, be careful not to touch and get it a damp. A uh, quick pro tip, no, but yes. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go in. Let me clean this off a little. Let's go ahead and go with the dark purple. And you can take more time. You can go slower. And you can add the tiny details like I do with pencil. I go in with pencil for the tinier details. But it's so quick to do this. I mean, can you imagine how long it would take you to color what I just did here with color pencil? How long that would take? It would take a while. Plus, the, just the blendability of the pan pastels is amazing. It's so fun. to They're so blendable. And if you want to blend, again, I, I like to use, I'll do it on her skin here in a minute. Use these sponges to, as a palette. I'll do that in a minute when I get to her face. But right now I'm just laying down some color. Get around the little suckers there. Oops. Not sure. I think I might do gold earrings, like with gold ink. Okay. So there's a start. Let's put a little more in these little kind of gooey drips or something from the octopi. Or over there. Um. Yeah. <laughs> it would take a while, right, Tina? Okay. So. <laughs> Let's move this out of the way, and let me clean this off. Let me go ahead and do the smaller one, I think. I might need to put a new tip on here. I think this one's starting to wear. I think what I'll do is I'll take it off, and you can take them off and turn them over, and you can use the other side. I don't think I've used the other side of this one yet. And let's just make sure it's clean. Okay. So now I'll take one of my sponges. Let's take this one. And I can blend the skin tones on here. All right. So let's see where I want to start. Um, let me get my skin tones back over here. Let's go ahead and get the dark one first. And I'll just put some on here. I'm just going to start with some of the dark first and some of the shadows. So I don't need to really blend yet. I just want to get some on there. And when I start to blend two colors together, then I'll go back in and mix mix it on the sponge. Okay. And I'll do her eyebrows green to match her hair. And then again, I'll go back over all the black, like her eyelashes and any of the dark line art that I want to show up. I might put a little bit of green in her skin. You know, those little dots right there, they may have some, uh, I'll do that with pencil. Or at least after I get this done, because I want her to have the skin tone done first. <clears throat> Okay. 
and she has a veil on. So I some I might do some kind of something to make that veil show up after the after the fact. Right now, I'm just kind of getting her blocked in. I'll put a little color in her lips too. Because one of our neighbors that thinks they're hot and they're hot rod. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, let's get a little bit of a All right, let's see. Hey Edwin, good to see you. Um, and I said hi to Annette. I said hi to Amy, Shelly. I said hi to Beth. I'm sure I'm missing some people, but thank you everybody for being here. All right, so now I'm going to take the dark and some of the golden color and kind of mix them. And now I'll start to do some blending. Hopefully this is showing. Do y'all want me to zoom in? Maybe I should zoom in one. And that way you can see, especially when I go to do pencils. When I go to do pencils. <laughs> Just kind of take your time, especially on the face. And when you get all, I saw that uh, um, y'all had some strawberries coming up already in your garden. Okay, let me get them. You can take your time so you, you know, stay in lines and everything more carefully. But, you know, I'm trying to get as much done as we can because I do want to move on to the pencils. Show us pretty. Oh, thanks. With the base. Yeah. All right. So now I think I want a little bit, one darker than this. I think I'm going to go over here and get one shade darker. Maybe, uh, Maybe this it's kind of got a little bit of red to it. Okay, so let's get the dark and a little bit of the. There we go. And just kind of softly blend. Oh, my foot's asleep. <clears throat> you got some strawberries already too, Tina? Just kind of taking my time as much as I can. Give that kind of mask look. I'll blend it out a little bit. But. Okay. A bit more of this. <clears throat> Put it in caps if y'all asking me anything. All right, let's get my little eraser. I 
And before you go spray it, you want to just kind of make sure everything's kind of cleaned off all the way around. Okay, let's see what I want to do next. A little bit more gold. Maybe a little lighter with the gold. Just take the time to blend it out. And then if there's any place you want extra highlights, like I like them above the brows right in here, you can just go in here and erase. Let's get a little eye there. Maybe a little more highlight in the cheeks, but you got to keep keep cleaning it. Otherwise, you're just going to be picking up color and moving it around. You got to keep, you know, cleaning the cleaning off the eraser. A little bit less there, I think. Just kind of knock that back. There we go. And I'm just cleaning the eraser. All right. All right, her lips. I'll put a little pink in there. A little bit lighter in there. You just kind of play with it and get it however you want. All right, now I'm going to go back up in here in the, the hair and the octopus. And again, using my eraser. And you could use, uh, where's my little box? Why don't I move my box? Here it is. Uh, your little, uh, I don't know how my batteries are doing in this, but we'll see. <laughs> And you can always add more, you know, Posca and other things, too. Oops, I got a little. <clears throat> All right. And I think the battery's kind of low. It's kind of wanting to, it's kind of wanting to, might be easier just to use the, Clean it off a little. Probably needs a new battery. Do I have one up here? Probably not. No, I don't have one up here. I try not to touch it too much. So just lightly so it's skimming the surface. I think it might be easier just to use the needed eraser. Because my battery's low. The battery's low. So let's just do it with this. And again, if it if I can't get it enough where I like it, I can always just use Posca. But I wanted to show that you can erase. But you got to keep cleaning your eraser. Oh, let me see. Do I have a pointy? Let me see. One of my. Ah, here we go. Mm -hmm. Let me switch my pencil to one of the. <clears throat> Any eraser will do. But you got to clean it off.
and then maybe a couple highlights in the Again, you can do this later with pencil and Posca, or add more, I should say. Same thing for her hair in just a second. Oh, hi, John. Good to see you. Thank you for the super, super chat. John's our resident Oak Island person i say that every time he pops in but if y'all are interested in anything oak island you need to follow john's channel thanks for some thanks for supporting the channel john i appreciate it y'all go follow him that's the name of his channel right there <laughs> thanks tina hi gang monday <laughs> thanks john uh, I'm just working in some pan pastels today. Amongst other things, we did show some books and art books and stuff earlier, but I'm just going to pick out a few extra lights in the hair. Got to keep cleaning it off, though. I need a different, that one eraser's not too, there we go. We're getting down to the end of the season, John. Oak Island. I don't know how many more episodes there are. They better dig something up for us. <laughs> right? They better dig something up for us. Oh, <laughs> uh, thank you. Okay, I, yeah, I'll be going to my post office box tomorrow. Thank you so much, John. I appreciate that. I love my Oak Island hat. <laughs> okay, let's see. I'm just trying to keep the edges clean here. Okay, although if I put stencil, I don't know why I'm really caring, because if I put stencil in there, it's going to be covered up anyway. But uh, it's just habit. I just like to keep it clean while I'm working. <laughs> um, uh, Janet's finding links. She needs some blush. <laughs> well, I'm going to put some a little bit of pink in her lips, too. So, yeah. Or the purpley color. So, oh, let's see. A little bit of the pink here. Let me get a little bit of a... Uh, Let's go to this one. Here we go. Just a little spot where it's can soften it. I'll probably put more with a pencil. A little bit more of the purple maybe on the edges. There we go. And again, I want to make a little bit more highlight in the lips. <clears throat> Can add just a little bit of pink to her cheeks. Actually, I wanted to add some green in that, in those dots there, but I'll do that with pencil. <clears throat> She's got this veil on, so which I'll probably add. Same thing for this lace here. I'll probably do that with Posca. I might do it white. A white, like white veil and white um, lace. All right, let's see here. What else do I want to do before I go spray? I just go out on my porch and spray. I don't spray in the house. <clears throat> and like I said, I think her earrings, I'm going to actually use gold ink. Um, Let's see. 
oh, I think I can go spray it. And you can always do more and spray it a second time. But if you go back in with pan pastel or any kind of pastel, if you go back in with pastel, you got to go spray it again if you add more. So I'm just going to try to try to get as much as I can. Now, I'm trying to decide, do I want anything in the background, like turquoise water or anything? Do I want anything in the background or just should just be like this? I think for the time, for the sake of time, I think we'll just go, we'll just roll with this. For the sake of time. Let's do a little bit more around her hair. And I do have to get the cats out of here when I leave the room because they'll be up in the pan pastels like Malibu has done before. And it, trust me, getting pan pastel out of white cat fur, yeah. <laughs> all right, so let's see. Let me just make sure I've cleaned up all the edges fairly well. And I'm going to go out on my porch and give it a spray of some Grumbacher Final Fixative. Make sure you use matte, matte spray. Let's see. Any other comments before I step out for a minute? She might need a little bit more light in here. Just lightly. Just do a little bit more light between the eyebrows. Kind of blend that. There we go. I like that better. <clears throat> All right, let me go um, do a BRB and I'm going to step out. Let me look at it one more time to make sure I don't have any. Uh, yeah, there's a little spot right here. I want to erase. All right, I'll be right back. I'm going to go out on my porch and spray spray some fixative on this and I'll be right back. All right, baby, you got to go out. Go on out. I'll be, I'll be back. I'll come back in when I come back in. <clears throat> All right, the mat. Okay, let me show you what the can looks like. I usually stand outside a minute and let it air out, but uh, came right back in because I want to get it done. Mm -mm. All right. This is what I use. Make sure you get matte. The gloss looks exactly like this, except it says gloss. So make sure you get the one that says matte. Mm -mm. All right, let me get my baby wipe and get some of the excess off. Hi, Ada. Oh, uh, let's see. Um, let me uh, clean my glasses. All right. Uh, keep moving on here, people. All right. A little. Where's the other? There. It is. All right. Let's move those out of the way. Move the water thing out of the way. Make some space. All right. So now let's move the pastels to the side. Let's we'll finish it up today. I will post a picture. Let me get it done. All right, let's see. All right. Now, get the pencils.
pencils. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Sip of water. Let's see, chat. Pamela B. Hello. Calico Kate Kathy. Oh, Denise does that. Denise messes with me when I step away. And speaking of, I think Denise, let's see, let me look at my calendar. I think she's going to be down here. Uh, I'll announce, I'll tell y'all more next week because it would be the following week. Um, yeah, it would be the end of next week. So I think Denise, sometime around... Is that Thursday, Friday? Yeah, the 27th or the 28th. Denise is going to be here. That's a Thursday, Friday. She's going to be here that weekend. So Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, which is Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So it's not my stream days because my stream days are Monday and Wednesday, and she's not going to be here Monday and Wednesday. But sometime uh, 27th, 28th, 29th, 30th, sometime in there, we're going to stream together. So provided work and everything fine, you know, works out and she's able to come down that weekend. So she's going to come down for like four days. And if she does, we'll stream Thursday, Friday, Saturday or Sunday. One in there somewhere. And I don't even know what time. So I can't tell you anything more about it. But if she comes down, we're going to squeeze in a stream somewhere. We'll squeeze in a stream somewhere. Um, yeah. Thanks, Rachel. Put those, get your dress slippers out. <laughs> We always have so much fun. Okay, so let's see here about doing a little pencil. And where's my Posca? Let me see. I need a small. I got the big Posca. Where's my oh, big Posca? Oh, here, let's see. if we, I don't even know which ones are working now because I've been using them so much. But let's see. Let's go ahead and start with, I want to get some highlights in the, um, let me try not to get anything on my, all right, let's see. So I'm going to do some, um, Let's go with the big one here. So I'm going to add some highlights in here. And then remember, I always tell y'all that when you go in with Posca, a white Posca, you can always go um, back over it. You can always go back over it with a, a color. So just because it's white now doesn't mean you can't go back over it with a color and knock back the white so it would be you know pink or whatever color here and doesn't have to be a bright white so and i think i'm going to do these little dots white here Ooh. and i'll go back over with some pink in there but i just want it to look kind of textury there's not white dots that ever there's I'm just adding my own own flay flavor. <clears throat> All right, let's see. Kind of blend. So all the details is what's fun. <clears throat> I think Poscas have been the best investment I've made. Yeah, me too. I love them, Kristen, and not just the white ones, although the white one is the best one for adding highlights, you know, because you can, it's underpainting a highlight because then you can go back over the top of it with any color. Okay, and again, I want to do gold on the earrings. Okay, so I don't know. I think maybe I'll do some purple. Let's go ahead and do some purple dots. 
interface. Like maybe some of the octopus rubbed off on her. <laughs> maybe a couple dots. Can add a little bit more blush. Somebody suggested they wanted more blush. Can add a little bit more. Pencils go over Posca. I mean, um, pencils go over pan pastels just fine. And add just a couple little white, maybe they're freckles. I don't know. But now she's got. I want to be able to do this here. She's got a. Uh, she's got a veil on. So I'm going to kind of go around the veil and I'm going to add my own little lacy bits to it because I'm covering them up. And I'll add a little bit of shadow under it. And I'll probably maybe a white sheen over it. We'll see. <clears throat> I want her to have a little bit of highlight around her lip. Just kind of lightly. And I'm going to do more shadow around different parts of her face. Just kind of working it a little here and there. You know, I do want, let's get a... That's probably good. Got my little sharpeners here. Mrs. Prism Color to inquire about their diminishing quantity control issues. They never got back to me. Yeah, they, they, I don't know if they're even on Instagram. You'd probably have to write the company. You'd have to write the company, Tina. I think I need a little bit darker. But let's go with this one. The quality issues are not as bad as they used to be. Um, they moved the manufacturing again. And the last, I don't know, few years, they haven't been bad for me. But, you know, it may be that when you buy a set from like off of Amazon or somewhere and you buy a set, you don't, you're not sure where that was manufactured. Is that an old set? Is it a new set? I don't know. Okay, I need my get some uh, light slate blue. Put a little blue in the eyes. And I'll go back over the pupils with the black. Same thing for the eyelashes and all that. That all it's all gonna get uh, black back over the top of the pupils, the eyelashes, anything that you want. You know, the eyebrows. Well, I think I wanted a little bit of green in the eyebrows, didn't I? And I'll add a little more black as well because I like the thicker eyebrows. But we'll start with that. So thinking about her veil, if I want to color that in or not. I'm not sure. Just might leave a little. No questions, no comments, no caps. <laughs> All 
right, let's see, on a black Sharpie pen, black Sharpie pens don't bleed through, and they're also, you know, thin. All right, so let's go ahead and do a little bit. And a little bit of and tonight. Can y'all see? Maybe I should have zoomed in a little. In the dark purple. I guess y'all can see nobody's saying anything, so I'm assuming. I'm assuming you can see. Knock that back with the purple. Hi, Raul. Kimberly. Bye, Angie. All right, let's see. I'll let, let the eyes just sit for a minute. Let's put a little more purple in the lips. Okay, now the lashes. Well, yeah, let's go and do the couple. I want the eyebrows a little thicker and a little longer. Let me clean this brush, I mean, this pen off. <clears throat> um, happy birthday to your sneaky friend. I, I don't know who that is, Tina. I don't know who your sneaky friend is. Thank you, Devin. I'm kind of going over the eyelashes, which are very long in um, Christine's, Kristen's girls. And then this little line here. The eyelashes are very long. So we'll see if you can see the difference when one is colored in. See how I've gone over them? And this one's not gone over, so they're really light because of all the pastel. Yes, I, I, we said before you came in, uh, Tina, we were saying good, um, happy birthday to Arlene. I didn't know who that was your sneaky friend.
<clears throat> yes, it is Amy. The pen is now mascara. <laughs> It normally doesn't take this long to do eye, the eyelashes, you know, go back over them. But because these are so long and thick. Just kind of getting, taking my time with them. ASMR. All right, just a little bit lighter over that, so not too white. Okay, same thing now for inside the little. So you can see that having the base of the pan pastel, it just gives you so much more already blended underneath. And also you don't have you don't have to fill it all in with dark pencil. And you can do the little shading details and stuff. I'll go back over some of this white with the light purple lavender. No questions, no comments. Who else has pan pastels and loves them? Anyone? I know there's some of y'all here that love them. Thank you, Rachel.
Yeah, a little bit darker underneath some of those little suckers. A busy weekend this weekend, but I was glad to get up and see Denise and get to just go out to go out for lunch and hang out with her a little bit. Okay, all right. Do you want it maybe more? pink mm. not sure if i want it this i think i'm gonna go with the pink no maybe even a lighter pink let's see I want pink pink no that's too big. i guess i will go with the lightest purple keep it pur more purple Thank you. With the hair. <laughs> well, I haven't done, uh, done, worked on her hair yet, really. I'm going to work on it here in a minute. So I'm going over the top of the white Posca, and it still retains its vibrancy, but it's not bright white. Okay. All right, let's see. I think I want a little bit of that in her eye, too. Maybe one or two of those, a little bit of that, the highlights will have a little bit of purple. And no, baby, can't come up here. She's getting, she's getting ready to make the leap. All right, now I want to do some, uh, now I still want a little bit of more, maybe this, a little bit of darker under that veil there to make it stand out a little. And I could put a little shimmer of white over it if I want to, but I don't know if I want to. Hmm, let's see, let's see what happens. I'm not really wanting to. It's just going to look like she has white on just that part of her face. So maybe not. But I do want to do this right here. I want this to be lace. Cats is behind my table now. I'll put some jewels in there. I need some uh, stickles maybe in there. Okay, so let's see.
hard to see, but there we go. All right, gotta let that. You, you gotta really let it dry before you try to go over it. Otherwise, you're gonna have. Um, you're just gonna lift it. You're just gonna lift it. All right, let's see. I need a little bit more. Maybe the dark purple. Maybe a little bit more. We'll do something with her hair. We gotta do something with her hair. All right, so let's go ahead with the Posca and get some highlights in it. And we'll go back over that with the green. Maybe make a few like wispies coming off. And then I want I want some coming across her face, which we'll get brave. We'll get brave and do. <clears throat> okay, let's see. I'll go over these with the green so they won't be white. All right, here we go. Here we go. All right, now, we got to let it dry. Oh, I could hit it with the heat gun, but you got to make sure it's dry. Otherwise, you're just going to pick it back up. And then the ear, let's go ahead and do those earrings real quick. Maybe I'll just do them with um, stickles. But then I've got to be careful not to touch, not to touch the stickles. I'll have to turn it so I don't touch them. But I want to go ahead and put the stickles in just so you can see. Got a little hair there. But I hope y'all got some pan pastel tips by us doing another color book page with them. I'll show you the cover of the book I'm working out of here in just a second. <clears throat> so the gold won't show up like, you know, unless you tilt it. All right, let me hit it with the, pan, uh, the uh, heat gun so I can go over that. It won't dry the the stickles. I'm just trying to dry the white in the hair. All right, let me see. Let me get my lightest mossy color. What's the lightest one? Maybe this one. I know it's just a nub. I have other ones. Trust me. <laughs> I do have pencil extenders too. People go, get your pencil extender. I got some pencil extenders. They're here somewhere, but I don't need one right now. I'm going to turn this over <laughs> so I don't touch the stickles in the earrings. Um, oh, thank you, Kat. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over the white on the hair, and it's going to make knock it back. I could have just used probably used a moss green Posca, too, but I love what using my white Posca. I know you're having to watch me do it upside down, but like I said, I don't want to run my hands through the glitter.
turn it this way. Did, did you show your new shirt? No, I have not. I just, I, we'll see if I get to it, Janet. I haven't shown it. I just got it. I might wait till Wednesday. You can show yours if you want. I'll probably wait. Wait. I'm running out of time. I already feel a little rushed, so. Did you decide whether you're going to stream or not, Janet? I know it was up in the air a minute ago. Got to be careful of that glitter because I've already touched it a little bit there. All right, I just want to get a few of these little stray hairs that are kind of coming out there. I don't think I'm going on today. I'm going to make some... Oh, yay. That sounds good. We try to squeeze in a lot in a stream. All right. Let's see. Is there anything else? So you can see all that white still is bright, but it's not white. It's now kind of a green. I need maybe a little bit more green on that one. And I'm pretty much almost done, so I can almost post this. I do want a little bit of uh, shadow, though, in the lace. So let's do that. Let's do a little bit of shadow in the lace here. Oh, and I also wanted a little bit more purple in the skin here. Okay. Put a little detail in the lace. bit more oh let's see I was getting a lot. Yeah, I try. I try to squeeze in a lot, Tina. I do. You know, we try. Let's see. A little bit of that pastel right there. But I hope y'all get something out of it and enjoy getting some more creative ideas with whatever material we're using of the day. Thank you, Tina. Thanks, guys. Thanks, everybody, for being here. I hope you all did enjoy it. And seeing the new art books, especially. That was, I love showing my art books, you know, because I hope people will buy art books. All right, let's just get a few more little details here and there. Try not to touch, try not to touch the earrings that are wet. And maybe a little bit more shadow up in here. Do 
Do y'all have any questions or comments on pastels? I didn't see who likes them, who, who has them and likes them. Anybody, anybody love pan pastels? Thank you, Cat and Pays. Thanks, Debbie W. I'm not sure about the lacy thing on her face, but maybe I mean, if I make it just a little bit more distinct, maybe with a little dot in between, make it look a little bit more lacy. Could do that. Thank you. Thank you, Sandra. I think I'm going to put a little bit of more little dots or something to make it look just a little bit more lacy. Like that. Maybe even one in between there. I'll hold it up. It's really, I'm doing it very tiny, trying to do it very tiny. Maybe a little more on here. Hermit's <laughs> down. <laughs> oh my gosh, let's get a little bit of that. Let's get a little bit of the pupil not so black lined. Or the iris, rather. Get rid of the black line of the iris. I like that better. And maybe just a smidge more white pairing. Oop, 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 oop. Oh, didn't let it quite dry. Gotta let that dry before you try to smear it. Extra little highlight under that eye. A little extra glow. And I'll let that dry and I'll put a little bit of purple in there. <clears throat> little rounded out with purple. I oh, like the lace. Okay. Could use a little more shadow, but. All right, let's see. Let me hit that with the heat gun so I can go ahead and do those eyes. <clears throat> there we go. Nice big pupils, I mean, uh, irises. <clears throat> oh, those lines there. Okay. Well, is there anything else I need to do? Oh, yeah, I need to get rid of those. Knock those back a little. Those little freckles or whatever they are. I'm sure I'm probably missing something. Let's see. Let's get a little darker right in there. 
His earrings will stand out a little more. Okay, should I call it done? Thank you, Janet. I, I'm, not, I'm not good at teaching, Annie. Uh, I'm not. I'm not patient. I'm not a patient. I don't. I'm. You know. I'm just really not a, a patient person to be a teacher. Teachers have to have a lot of patience and skill skill set that I don't have. I'm. I like to do demos. You know, I do demos and show you how to do things. But I've tried it every a few times over the last thirteen years. And do, uh, you know, teach, you know, like, all right, so this is number so-and-so. And we're going to lay down a little layer of number uh, black cherry prismacolor number 1078. And we're going, I can't. I just cannot do it. I don't have the patience for it. Don't have the patience to be a teacher. Not that you can't learn anything from it. I don't mean that you don't. You, you learn something from every video you watch, whether they're a teacher or not. Um, but, yeah, I don't have the skill set to be a teacher. <laughs> I like to encourage. I like to encourage you to try, start things, you know, use your stuff and do demos. And you'll learn stuff from me, no doubt, that you'll learn stuff. But um, I'm not a teacher. Um, so do I want to add anything else? I think I do want to add one more thing. Nope, don't jump up here. Don't jump up here on the, I'm going to go in here with my black and get those uh, pupils nice and dark. I did it with the, with the, what do you call it? The, um, of the pen, but uh, I could just a little bit darker with the pencil. Yeah, and then these this part of the those um, like where the lash is sitting on her eye there, just a little darker there. <clears throat> uh, no, uh, uh, get him. Okay, well, teachers don't have patience, just students. <laughs> Good one, Kat. Good one. But you know what I mean. There's just some people that are really, you know, you've had good teachers, I'm sure. Um, whether it's in art or any other subject, you know, I've had good teachers and bad teachers. And I just know that uh, the, the stuff that teachers, you know, are good at, uh, patience is one of the th those things. And I mean, I have patience in a lot of things, but to teach a class, yeah, it's just not, it's just not what I do. We're all, we all got different skill sets. We all like and en enjoy doing different things, especially when we're streaming, especially when we're streaming live. We like to do different things. And this is what you get. This is what you get with me. <laughs> this is what you get with me. You're not going to get me laying out every color pencil I use and all that. Not that there's anything wrong with it. I love, you know, that people do that. It's just not me. It's just not what I do. And I'm going to do what I enjoy. Otherwise, I wouldn't be streaming for almost 13 years if I didn't enjoy it, you know? You got to enjoy it. That's the first thing I tell people. What do you got to know to stream and or you make YouTube videos or what's well, really of anything? You have to like doing it. You have to enjoy. <laughs> you have to enjoy it or, or you're not going to stick with it. And there's been plenty of people that don't. You know. They just don't don't like it, I guess, or they, you know, and I know people have, you know, things happen, you know, that they can't stream or can't. Uh, uh, do videos or whatever, you know, things happen in your life, but I'm just saying to stick with anything, you're going to have to love it and you have to do it your way. So 
Bye, Tori. Uh, herding cats. Yes, there is that. There is the herding cat thing. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I think I'll go ahead and uh, take a picture of this and post it on IG. And uh, hopefully, you know, again, you're not going to really see the gold glitter. And well, I could take a I could take a side shot of it so you could see it a little bit, I guess. But the glitter doesn't show up, or any kind of metallic doesn't show up directly on. You know, you got to kind of get an angle on there. So, all right, um, we will. I you know I'll try to uh, finish swatching these out by Wednesday so you can see the rest of those and I guess we have no more questions so I guess I'll head on out and everybody have a great day you're welcome Aseki thanks everybody for being here thanks Devin thanks all that super chat and support the channel this way one way or another I do appreciate it and um, we will see you on Wednesday and happy birthday again Arlene